all right and what is up everyone og over here from player essence and welcome to another pe live first one for this week uh we are april we are um today's day if i can speak is april 23rd 2018 hopefully all of you guys are having a fantastic day i want to go ahead and get right into the shout out so we can stay on track stay on time because we do have god of war later tonight that we're going to be streaming on the ps4 pro i'm going to try out performance mode everyone's been saying performance mode is probably the way to go uh, for a better gameplay experience so more uh, responsive controls so i'm going to go and go with performance mode so no 4k unfortunately but performance mode will be uh live for that so that's going to be a lot of fun so let's go ahead and get into these shout outs here so shout outs to uh lucina uh what's up lucina mr nickel how's it going boy everybody's saying boy <laughs> zach brown chicken king rosalina what is up hunter uh, mcgill mason what's up mason amiibo fan what's up shout outs to the elite ninja amiibo fan tg lopez what's up d johnson what's up man family emergency all right man take care of business sock on 10 what's up man how's it going um let's see here d dub uh, d dub 64 what's up man what's up how's it going uh g5 what up g5 <laughs> um the hokage of thumbnail poses watching <laughs> the hokage of thumbnail poses i know man i just got to be careful whenever i think that i might be stealing stealing a pose from someone i'll put on a toby mask so uh you might see a couple toby masks but so far i think i've been pretty standard with my poses i mean i didn't know you know there was an issue there but apparently there is but yeah you the, the mask will come out whenever i feel like i'm stealing a pose because then it wasn't me it was toby so i can blame it on toby instead of uh myself so yeah so what's good <laughs> what's good i danny how's it going man hayden shout out to hayden what's up elite ninja hayden um uh let's see here uh fernando gonzalez what's up man how's it going fernando dank meme center what's up man how's it going ruin black cat shout out to my boy ruin black cat good to see you here t dude always good to see you here baby yoshi what's up haven't seen that name uh but cool good to have you here baby yoshi yo my boy avidan what's up avidan how's it going man g5 g5 dk uh yeah yeah we have the fiscal year report which we will be talking about um later so get ready for that guys uh shout out to the 100 people watching yo we got 100 people watching plus but if we can get 100 likes that would be awesome as well we get 100 likes that would be cool that would be really good that'd be cool for the stream so uh, go ahead and hit that like button too don't be shy don't be shy at all yo what's up ataki how's it going my right hand man ataki one of my many right hand men <laughs> and women ataki <laughs> shout outs to jumpmon how's it going jumpmon x-ray how's it going how's it going cinnamon the hacker shout outs to my elite ninjas said hold up cinnamon the hacker has the same uh avatar as mama mercy so i'm getting confused now uh, shout outs to <laughs> yo, OJ the Toby. Yo, <laughs> uh, uh, is it a sad, uh, Sarah? Sarah, uh, what's up, Sarah? How's it going? Resurrected Gaming, what's up, man? How's it going? Um, let's see here. Uh, M. Williams, how's it going, man? Always good to see you here, M. Williams. Rosalina, my girl, what is up? Um, let's see here. Civilized Son, what's up, Civilized Son? How's it going, brother? How's it going, man? Um, Xyphos, yo, what's up, my boy, Xyphos? always here ready to go let's let's do this i know it's late where you're at too uh let's see here joseph trip what's up alonzo vines what's up uh i know if you see i was about to pose like this in one of my in one of my um thumbnails but i was like you know what i better not it's probably somebody's probably done it and i could be play it can be plagiarism plagiarism is is the, the new rage now what's up retsy how's it going man um yo my boy how does my salt taste julio my right hand man how's it going dude good to have you out to the stream good to have you out to the stream am i going to e3 only if john from spawn wave is going and like rgt if those guys are going i'll go but if they're not going then i'm not gonna go um john did i apparently john might go um so if john goes i'll go because i told john that he can stay at my house <laughs> for e3 uh so he doesn't have to pay for a hotel because hotels in los angeles are ex are expensive and i live about an hour hour and a half away from e3 it's literally like a drive over a hill it's like whoop, whoop, and then i'm there <laughs> um so if john goes i'll go because uh i told him i, I take at least i'll i'll take him there at least <laughs> I'll take him there at least. Maybe, I don't. I don't qualify for E3, but Nintendo might get me in. I'm not really sure, but I I, I probably can pull some favors with some people and they'll get me in a pass to E3. Uh, but yeah, if John goes, I'll go. Um, so yeah, there you go. As long as I can get in, I can help him. If if I can't get in, then I'm. I mean, I'm not. I can't go then. You know. But I mean, 
yeah, just it is what it is. But anyway, um, I know I copied Naruto's hand signs, um, definitely. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely copied Naruto's hand signs. Uh, OJ the chauffeur, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna chauffeur if I don't get in with the pass. I'm not gonna chauffeur him there because then that'll be lame. I'll be like, I'll just be like outside, like I can't do anything. You can go in. Here's the thing about E3, guys. There's like, there's the big convention center, right, where the Lakers play, and um, you can go in. But you can't get past the doors. So I can go in and sit down and chill, but I can't get into the actual show. Like, I can't get in. So, I mean, I can go sit down, have a seat. And there's there's actually some people that are, like, like there's, like, T-shirts and there's, like, stuff. that I mean, there's food. I mean, you can go access the food and all that, but you can't get into the actual show without the pass, you know. So, uh, so yeah, I don't think I'd go if I didn't actually get a pass. Like, if I couldn't get a pass, then, I mean, I can let John stay here, but, like, I couldn't. I, I'm not going to go, you know, because I'd just be stuck all day while he's working, you know. <laughs> so, that would be lame. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Sony will win. Sony always wins E3. They will announce like games that are coming out in like 10 years from now. And they'll be like, all right, Sony won E3, Final Fantasy 7, Kingdom Hearts, Shenmue. Oh, they won E3 all those years. Yup, there you go. They, they win E3. So that's exactly what Sony's going to do. They, they've been talking about Sp Spider Man and God of War and Horizon Zero Dawn for three, four years before those games launch. So that's exactly what's going to happen. That's exactly what's going to happen. So, um, so there we go. Uh, um let's see uh okay you guys are talking to each other so i think we got all of the shout outs so let's go in um let's go ahead and get into some of the core content here guys so e3 2018 going down mid-june like always um and i wanted to hear you guys' predictions now we already had some chatter beforehand um i'll tell you guys my predictions and i'll react to what you guys say and i'll give you guys my predictions but if you think nintendo isn't going to have anything surprising there if you think that there's not going to be anything like, oh my gosh, oh, I didn't know that was coming. You do not, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. I mean, you obviously don't know what you're talking about at all. I mean, because I've heard of multiple games. And I'm not, guys, like I said, when I say this stuff, I'm not lying to you guys, okay? I'm not lying to you guys. But I've heard of multiple games that you're like, oh, snap. Okay, that's that's going to be on the Switch. That's cool. There are definitely going to be surprises. Like 100% there's going to be surprises. Um, it just depends on what you think. I mean, some people think that certain third-party games aren't coming. And they, st say, they sit there and cry and, and complain and bang their keyboard on Twitter as if the games aren't coming. Then some people think, oh, okay, well, maybe they're going to come. So maybe we just have to wait till E3 or wait till Nintendo Direct, whatever the case is. But there's definitely going to be quite a number of uh, reveals for the Switch that uh, should get, get get you guys excited. There should definitely be some good ones. Um, chill live stream outside of E3 confirmed. That would be horrible. My The internet would be so trashy. Like, I, I wouldn't even be able to do anything. That would be absolutely horrible absolutely horrible um so let's go ahead and read off some of you guys's uh uh predictions well m williams is that a prediction that you're going to see retro's game it looks like um so what's up master driver rex i didn't forget you nova bushido what's up man i didn't forget you either <laughs> final fantasy 7 remake coming in so, so oh my gosh i don't even want to think of what what type of things will be in that year <laughs> um oj knows when uh fe16 will come uh do i know no i don't know about when fe16 will come but i do know that the game um is th the game is going to be at e3 i know that i know that so um so let's see so does anybody have a any actual predictions so sock contents is at player essence that ubisoft employee hey, make sure you guys tag me tag me so i can know that you're trying to talk to me about a prediction that you have so i can separate that from people talking to other people in the chat which is all good i don't have a problem obviously you guys can continue to chatter with amongst each other it's all good uh but if you if you have something that you want to say to me so i can read out on stream let me know just tag me in the name um Let's see here. I lost it. There was a comment and I already lost. Okay, here we go. Sock on 10 says, Player Essence, that Ubisoft employee on Twitter said that Nintendo has a lot to offer in the second half of the year. Well, not only did the Ubisoft employee say that, but also uh, the GameStop CEO also said that. And then on top of that, there's journalists that know like, okay, yeah, like this could be coming, this could be coming, this could be coming. So it's like, it's not even like a secret that Nintendo has a lot in the second half. Um, if you guys want, if you guys want, I will tell you guys what the strategy is with that. I mean, but I've talked about it before. So just briefly, Nintendo released a ton of first party games. A lot of third party stuff came out last year for the Switch. 
this basically the first half i mean there's been games obviously there's been games to play dragon quest builders bayonetta and all that but this is essentially being catch up for all the people who didn't buy a switch in the first year this it's the same reason why um the switch is still keeping pace with ps4 worldwide sales even though ps4 has been getting a ton more games it's there's still a bunch of people who didn't buy a switch last year that just got money or, or like, okay, now I'm going to buy a Switch, or maybe they couldn't find one. They're all catching up and buying the Switch. That's exactly the reason why Switch is actually keeping pace with the PS4. People are wondering why Nintendo isn't dump trucking a bunch of games uh, in this first half. Well, one, because their developers are still working on games. But also, two, is because there's still a lot of catch up. And all the games from last year, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, even Fire Emblem Warriors. A lot of those games are still selling really well. Um, especially the first three, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. All those games are selling extremely well, actually. I mean, they can push anywhere from 100,000 units plus a, um, a week worldwide sales. So that's the reason why Nintendo's not just going to overkill it, because that would be essentially overkill. Um, the second half of the year is going to be a lot bigger um, for Nintendo. And I, I understand the strategy, but even like you can tell that it was kind of catch up because they even released a bunch of games uh, that people knew they didn't play on the Wii U. Bayonetta 1 and 2, Hyrule Warriors, Definitive Edition, Donkey Kong Country. Uh, what else was that? I think there was another port that I'm missing. Uh, but yeah, there's more. But um, but yeah, essentially Nintendo was just playing catch up, kind of, you know, with the people who missed the Wii U games, and also people who are just catching up with the system in terms of finally getting one. Like like I said, which is the reason why it's still keeping pace with PS4. Like MPD, it was less than forty, like about forty thousand units or so. PS4 beat it. Yet the PS4 has got like PS4 is cheaper. PS4 has way more games. But yet, and it beat the Xbox One. So I mean, you can see. I mean, it's a pretty simple strategy it's not anything too complicated but anyway uh let's go ahead and let's get into more comments here um g5 says uh player essence prediction reggie uh given words of wisdom people getting mad that there are 3ds games being show bandai namco not giving us dragon ball fighter z but replacing it with the reveal of goku for smash yeah that's definitely not happening all that <laughs> uh raymond ortiz says new kid Icarus uprising the reveal of fire emblem announcing animal crossing to quiet fans uh, more ports at player essence okay um yeah all that stuff is pretty that's pretty um everything that you said is pretty safe outside of a new kid Icarus game that's that's obviously the big that would be like a big reveal right um zach brown says player essence uh, retro's third uh donkey kong hey, probably not uh yoshi's release date metroid prime 4 gameplay uh yeah seems likely but xenoblade uh, xenoblade 2 expansion don't want to overhype myself yeah, I mean, that what you just said right there, that's that's not really anything. The only thing that I would say is wrong is probably the third Donkey Kong game from, from Retro. Maybe there's a there's a Donkey Kong game, but it's probably not from, it's not from Retro. Um, let's see here. Uh, Dynamic, is it Dynamic Kirby? OJ, they haven't even put on, uh, put out much new games and it's still, it's still selling. Imagine what happens when Pokemon hits. Well, I mean, that's just, that's a given, right? I've talked about that for forever. <laughs> I've been talking about that. Been talking about that. Like I said, this first half was catch up. It was third party and catch up. I mean, we got ports like South Park, Naruto's coming. Obviously we got new in independent games. We got stuff like uh, Ease 8, La Cremosa of Dana. That's still in the first half. I mean, if you're going to count Project Octopath, Crash Bandicoot, Captain Toad, those are kind of technically in the second half, but still mid-year. mid, mid You know, that's really what it's... Um, Mario Tennis Aces and Kirby, Kirby Star Allies. I mean, Nintendo still put out two new games in the first half. So they still had two new games in the first half, uh, just not as big as some of the other games. And shout-outs to the 200 people watching. This is getting... Uh, close to a record for PE Live. That's not anything like crazy or special. So thank you to everyone who's watching. Um, for all the people who are watching, please feel free to drop a comment um, about your E3 predictions. I'd be more than happy to go over them. Um, th with the new schedule, I don't have to go rush to go get my daughter um, in between these live streams so we can do a lot more. Although I do want to keep it to about a two hour cap. So I have a little bit of time to get ready and then we can drop some God and then we can live stream uh, from like 6 to 5.30 or 6 to like 8 or something like that. So I want to start live streaming gameplay and PE Live every single day. So this new schedule lets me do that. Um, in addition to getting you guys videos, I um, want to let you guys know right now, um, one more quick thing before we get into more of you guys' comments. At 5 o'clock my time, so a little under two hours, there will be a brand new video that I have for you guys. So I do want to kind of lead into that video. So instead of raiding someone else, you guys can raid my video that I'm going to drop right at 5 o'clock. So as soon as we're done with this, there'll be a video that's already going to be ready for you guys. So you guys can all go right there and watch it. Um, so we'll do that. And if you guys want, we can raid somebody. But you guys watch my video too while we're at it. Uh, so yeah, so good stuff, guys. Um, that's probably going to be the schedule. Um, it's going to be 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. PT. These All these times are PT, okay? Pacific time. So 6 p.m. or 6 a.m., 12 p.m., uh, 3 p.m. for PE Live. 
and then 5 p.m. for a video, maybe. if I Sometimes I can get the video, sometimes I can't. So that's pretty much going to be the schedule. But we know for a fact, or at least I know for a fact, 6, 12, 3 p.m. for content every single day, you guaranteed. So that's what I know. Um, I'll have a video with an update going over the schedule because a lot of you guys have been asking me, is there going to be a schedule? Is there going to be a schedule? And I had one, but I had to change things up because everything broke. And now I'm gonna, the new schedule is going to drop. So good stuff there. So let's go and get into more of you guys' comments. Um, let's see here. Um, um, Iced Earth Aholic. I haven't heard that name before. So shout outs. Thanks for coming out to the stream. This player essence uh, Fatal Frame debuts on the Switch. F uh, new F Zero Metroid Prime 4 gameplay and story revealed. Dragon Quest Builders 2 localization announced. New Mario Golf. Okay. So Dragon Quest Builders, I think the localization, I think that was already something that they said. I'm, I guess it's not 100% confirmed, but yeah, I mean, that could be something. But that seems like a Tokyo game. Maybe that's a Tokyo game show thing. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure um metroid prime 4 absolutely uh yeah fatal frame a, a port yeah i think a port could come of the of the wii u version yeah um a new f-zero that'd be like the wild card right that'd be the kicker to see if that would happen i don't know i don't know i, I don't know if it will but i i hope it does um i hope it does yo what's up kofi k how's it going man thanks for coming out to the stream elite ninja kofi k elite ninja kofi k um let's see here uh gianni Ber Bert i probably i'm saying this wrong so i'm just gonna call you G gianni b uh kingdom hearts needs to be ported to more systems though they need the xbox uh they need xbox one ports switch and steam ports okay well kingdom hearts uh kingdom hearts are, are you talking about the original kingdom hearts or are you talking about kingdom hearts 3 because kingdom hearts 3 is coming to the xbox one um but yeah essentially kingdom hearts is a playstation 4 exclusive at this point because nobody's gonna buy it on the xbox one um let's see here more comments i'm sorry there's a lot of people in here a lot of people commenting i'm gonna keep on getting into more um wound up penguin says player since um yo i'm playing uh some breath of the wild and watching the stream yo that's like nirvana right uh ruined black cat shout out to ruined black cat says player essence do you think nintendo will revive an old old ip like they did for metroid okay revive an old ip like they did for metroid what do you mean by like like they did for metroid uh what do you mean by that um ruined black, black cat i need some more information on that uh, let's see here. Um, um, I like the simple thumbnails for your videos. Well, apparently I'm stealing people's material. So yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that you like them. I think that they're more simple. They're, they're easier to follow. Not as much text. Uh, they can easily display whatever emotion that I'm feeling. Um, and yeah, they're simple. They're simple. They're simple and they're straight to the point. So yeah, I like them. I like them too um shin megami tensei uh shin megami tensei at e3 i think atlas is a little weird when it comes to it but i think it, it, possible yeah possible shin megami tensei 5 at e3 i would hope so at least like a new trailer i think like a new trailer would be good they've been working on it they've been plugging away so i think a new trailer would be dope and i think that'll probably happen yeah um j2 blue says uh mario kart 9 announced for 2019 smash 5 gameplay and release date a small teaser for Monolith Soft's new game, a Captain Falcon made by Platinum Games, and no release date. Okay, so this is very interesting in terms of what you have to say here. It's crazy enough to work, right? Mario Kart 9, I think that can definitely happen. That can definitely happen. Mario Kart 9. Yo, shout outs to Steven Chevrolet. Hit us with that subscription. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village of Player Essence. Everyone in the chat, please make Steven feel very welcome. Do appreciate that, man. And of course, um, feel free to drop a comment, Steven. Everyone, the here, everyone here in the chat, definitely welcome you with open arms. And spam that headband emo if you got it from my boy Steven here. Thank you for the subscription, man. Appreciate that. Subscriptions have been a little rough around these streets. So thank you so much, man um let's see here um i feel like everyone forgets about yoshi i don't know if everyone forgets about yoshi tristan but it, it happens yo dark saggy hitting us with that subscription too thank you so much dark saggy do appreciate that everyone in chat please make dark saggy feel very welcome spam that headband emo if you got it this is the elite ninja village of youtube so you're gonna love it here um let's see here um <laughs> I, you're just convinced that there's never gonna be another f-zero yeah <laughs> i can see that um uh, yo lady fantasy maniac says playing dragon quest builders when watching og's live stream yo that's hype as well thank you so much lady Fan fantasy maniac appreciate you being here um let's see here uh let's see here does rosalina have a comment here oh no she's talking to someone else all right retsy says player since just a question for you do you really think nintendo will showcase third party games at e3 just be honest the answer seems to be all first party this year uh, i don't know why it would be seems to be all first party this year uh last year at e3 nintendo showed off third party games at nintendo's presentation in january they showed off third party games at both directs that we've had this year they showed off third party games so why what would make you think that it's going to be all first party games nintendo has essentially at every single direct every single live presentation since the switch is launched nintendo has showed off third party games so what makes you think that this is going to be any different last year's e3 they showed off third party games um this year's e3 or uh 
past directs, they've been showing off third-party games. At the end of the year, they showed off third-party games. Uh, so I don't know why there wouldn't be any, like, zero third-party games at, at you know, all first-party. Like, why? <laughs> why, why? Why would that happen? I don't, I don't get it. Um, let's see. Red Steel 3 is coming. I, you know, I would hope it's coming, but I don't think it is. I, don't, I really don't think Red Steel 3 is coming, man. But I, would, I really would want it to come. I really would want it to come. Um, let's see here. You hope Super Mario Maker comes to the Switch? I mean, that's the thing about Super Mario Maker, right? A lot of people are saying, like, is it going to be a brand new Super Mario Maker or is it going to be um, a port? And I think that it's a potential, potential that it's probably just going to be like the Super Mario Maker 2. You know, that's my thought. That's my thought. Now, I don't know. I could be wrong on that. I could be wrong. But my thought is it's going to be a Super Mario Maker 2. But we'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, I saw content as player since no Mario Kart 9 and Splatoon 3 should be launch titles for the next Nintendo console slash hybrid. No, that's false. Why should why should those be launch titles for that for that? I mean, we don't know when the next next Nintendo system is coming. The next Nintendo system could be coming in like six years. So you want them to wait like or or like three or four years? You want them to wait that long before another Splatoon or another Mario Kart? Absolutely not. They can make Mario Kart 9 for the Nintendo Switch. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is from the Wii U. So why not why not the this Switch whatever we're getting? Why not have that as a game? You know. So no, I, I disagree with that wholeheartedly. I disagree with that. Um, there's no reason in holding it back for the next system when you can easily have it for this system in two or three years from now. Splatoon 2 came out last year, two years from now. I don't think the next Nintendo system is going to be out. Why not have a Splatoon 3 in two years? You know, So that doesn't make sense. And Mario Kart 9, like I said, once again, that's a Wii U game. So why have Mario Kart 8 be the only game and then wait for Mario Kart 9? Like, that doesn't make sense. If anything, they put the games out and then you can just port them to whatever the next system is. Or there's probably just going to be backwards compatibility so you won't need to do that. You know what I'm saying? And they can just work on something else. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make sense at all. Um, let's you make 3D levels. Yo, Super Mario Maker with 3D levels would be... That might be, that might be a little too much. That might be a little too much, but that would be cool. Um... Mario Kart, Nintendo Kart, what does it matter? They're just characters in a cart. <laughs> There's just characters in a cart. It's probably going to be another Mario Kart. I don't think it's going to be a Nintendo Kart because I don't think Nintendo thinks that every character or every Nintendo character needs to be inside a cart racing. You know, they have certain characters. Yes, they've they've brought over some other ones, but it's going to be Mario Kart. There's not going to be a Nintendo Kart. There's not going to be a Nintendo Kart. It's, it's going to be Mario Kart. Um, because the reason why I say that is because you don't want to change the name. You want it to be Mario Kart. You don't want it to be called Nintendo Kart and confuse some people. Some people get easily confused in these streets. So uh, just call it Mario Kart. And if you want to bring some characters over from the other Nintendo franchises, just do it. But it's going to be called Mario Kart. And it's going to mainly have Mario characters. Um, the next Mario Kart game. Super Mario Maker 2 confirmed here. No, nobody confirmed that here. <laughs> nobody confirmed that here. Um... I don't know what I don't know why this went to zero. We're at ninety five, but whatever. <laughs> um, let's see here. Reposting. Okay, so I missed it the first time. Sorry. There's two hundred plus people watching. Um, DJ King says, uh, "Player, since I'm predicting Animal Crossing Q1 2019 steep being made as 1080 instead, that's not happening. F zero for 2019." Uh, okay, maybe. Bravely third. Uh, possibly. Localization for Yokai Watch 4 and Inazuma 11 and 2 new IP. A uh, little level 5 stuff. Yeah, so I mean, pretty good predictions. Pretty good predictions overall. Uh, let me change this, guys, because this is supposed to be a, this is supposed to be a 95, and I don't know why it's, it's, uh, it went to zero for some reason. <laughs> um, yeah, there's just, it's just having issues. Okay, yeah, they're just having issues with the Streamlabs. Whatever. Um, players and stuff are probably going to announce uh, s smaller titles during the Nintendo Treehouse gameplay segments. Uh, I don't know if they're going to announce smaller titles. Sometimes they, usually what they do during the Treehouse segments is that they announce, like they show off the gameplay. They don't make a ton of announcements in the Treehouse segments. They only, like they showed off like the Susie Striker game and they revealed Metroid Samus Returns. So that's kind of a big one, you know, so... They usually don't. They usually don't do too many like you know big reveals or small reveals even at the Trios events. They just play the games and re sometimes they'll reveal more information about the games. Like I think the first time that we knew that there was co-op in Super Mario Odyssey was at the Nintendo Treehouse. They revealed that there. So, so yeah, it just depends. It just depends. Um, 
Shout outs to NYX Lycos hitting us with the $2 donation through, uh, through Super Chat. And he says, thank you. I do appreciate that. And he says, Xenoblade Chronicles HD for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles HD is interesting because I think that it'll happen. Um, I would really want that to happen, but I don't know who would make it. I don't know if that'd be like a Monolith Soft type of deal or would that be like a port studio, like a Monster Games, like, you know, like who would make that? So, yes, I think that it'll happen at some point, but I don't know if it's going to be something that uh, is like Atlas or sorry, that Nintendo makes. So or Monolith Soft, more like it. So. So, yeah. Yo, what's up, Robacha? Shout outs, man. Welcome to the stream. Do appreciate that part of the bloodline here um let's see here um sock contents as you're reaching for the stars <laughs> yo shout out to sombrero mario thanks for coming out to the stream and he says if it was nintendo characters it would probably be a subtitle like mario kart nintendo all-stars or something like that i agree mario kart's name is powerful yeah i don't i just don't think that they're gonna do that there's no need to call it something else like if you want to include more Nintendo characters, that's fine. Nintendo breaks their own rules all the time. You call it Mario Kart, yet Link's in the game. So, you know, they can do the same thing. But they're not going to make a game that's completely focused on a bunch of Nintendo characters. You know why? Because there's already a game that's like that. It's called Super Smash Brothers. So they're not going to try to confuse people by calling it, like, you know, Super Mario Kart Brothers or some type of deal or something like that. It's going to be called Mario Kart. It's going gonna, it's gonna to have other Nintendo characters in there. You know, like Link or whatever the case is, but they're they're not gonna call it Nintendo Card. That's just something that they're not gonna do. Um, Robacha, it's, I'm I'm doing good, man. How are you doing today, man? Uh, Amiibo fan says, my guess is that the E3 Direct will be around 25 to 30 minutes long. It could be, or it could be longer. You never know. You never know what Nintendo. Sometimes they're four. I think one time Nintendo's done up to an hour, like in the Wii U days or something like that. They've done up to an hour. Uh, they've done up to 50 minutes, they've done 45 minutes, they've done 30 minutes, they've done 29 minutes or 20 something minutes. Nintendo is absolutely like, you cannot predict what they're going to do. You know, you, you can't predict what they're going to do. So it's just one of those things where I just say, yeah, maybe it's that, maybe it's longer. We don't know. It depends on the content, right? It depends on what they want to do with their content afterwards and what their content, you know, during it. So it is what it is. Um, um, player essence oh he got him uh, but not oh i'm sorry i'm i miss i miss skiz and i missed uh mama mercy i'm terribly sorry about that there's more people in here watching than usual and i'm doing my best to kind of scan through but the chat is going quick so i'm terribly sorry about that we got the whole bloodline here so once we get that bloodline you guys know what's going down once that bloodline is here the uchiha bloodline it's time to dance so let's do it let's do it hold up where'd it go Oh, it's covered up. All right. Oh, no. No. What? What happened? Okay. You know, I don't know what happened to you guys' shimmy. It's not letting me. Oh, now it froze. Yeah, it. <laughs> oh, no. This is not good. Okay, let me just move this over here. Ah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Do a little shimmy. Yo, shout outs to the Bloodline all being here. Thank you so much. Do appreciate all of you guys coming out. Do appreciate you, Mama Mercy, It's Kiz, and also Brobacha. Shout outs. Thank you guys for all being here. Appreciate the bloodline. Spam that, spam that Sharingan if you guys got it. Please spam that Sharingan if you guys got it. No, we're good. We back. We back, boys. Why is the sponsor goal at zero? I'm not sure why it is. I think uh, Streamlabs is having some issues with um, the notifications thing because when I go to, um, like, let's say I go to my um, video manager, like when I go to something, it just, it just doesn't. I don't know why. So I think it's just a Streamlabs issue um and um it'll probably be fixed um in a bit so shout out to jumpmon says can you play shimagama tensei 4 apocalypse tokyo absolutely we can definitely do that because like when i go to my sponsorships guys um uh let's see here um yeah everyone is still there and it still it still tells me i have 95 sponsors so we're at 95 so if we get five more we're gonna have a mario kart deluxe eShop tournament and we'll also have that nintendo switch giveaway so uh, five more sponsors and we'll get that. So we're still at 95, guys. I don't know why it says zero, but it does. But we're at 95. We're at 95. So 
There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, start fresh. Let's go. All right. Let's go ahead and get that music going. Thank you so much, Jumpmon. I do appreciate the $2 donation, homie. Do appreciate the long-term support you've been giving the channel as well. So Shin Megami Tensei. Shin Megami Tensei 5. So yeah, today was crazy, guys, because I woke up at 3 a.m. I think, was it yesterday or was it today? I don't even know. The, the day's kind of blended. I'm not really sure. Um, and yeah, I've got a ton of videos for you guys. So we've got three PE news videos today, in addition to PE Live and God of War. And then I already recorded two videos, old school style, right behind there, talking points, kind of like PE rants. I got two videos for you guys tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, a lot of cool content coming up, man. I'm, 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 I'm excited to see what you guys think about it. Um, let's see here. Cool content already out and then content coming up. Shaman Gama Tensei for, um, I think you said Apocalypse, right? Yeah, Shin Megami Tensei for Apocalypse Tokyo. Uh, Apocalypse Tokyo, Tokyo theme. All right, that's a good game. I just it just came out too late for me. I I didn't really feel like playing it on the 3DS. Um, all right. Is that Shin Megami Tensei for Final, right? All right. So let me know how it sounds, guys. Is it too loud? Not loud enough? I'm going to turn... You're going to hear a window sound. You're going to hear a window sound because I'm turning it down on my end. Let me know how it sounds. Yo, 114 likes so far, but we got 215 people watching. So go ahead and hit that like button and we can get new ninja into the village. New ninja into the village. Let's get to 150 likes. There we go. Yo, NWO Sniper, what's up, man? Thanks for coming out to the stream. All right, TG Lopez has a repost. Okay, so Player Essence. Um, uh, Xenoblade 2 gets a trailer for the story DLC. Retro Studios project gets revealed. Third-party support surprises. Fire Emblem reveal, Clutch Edition as well. As, um, as well, hopefully. Yeah, that's actually pretty good stuff, TG. I think that you're right on a lot of that stuff. It, definitely, we could see a lot of that. Um, it's good? You're good on sound? All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Mmm. Um, I don't think anybody is trying to party be a party pooper, Rexy. It's just it's just dialogue back and forth what people think is gonna happen, what people don't think is gonna happen. Um, it's always a touchy subject, right? When you talk about you know Nintendo and what they're gonna bring to the table and all of that. Um, but yeah, at the same time, I think um, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Um, shout outs to um, Chris Levy hitting us with the two dollar donation through super chat and says. Anything at E3 you want to see from Sony and Microsoft? Um, no, not really. Um, because Sony and Microsoft get everything. So my thought process is, well, they're just going to get everything for the most part. So there's nothing that I really want to see. Because anything that I want, I already know they're not going to do. Like, Scalebound's not coming back. Um, maybe I want to see a little bit of Fable, but I've already talked about that. And Sony, I, I don't even know. Like, they're, they're first party IPs. They just do whatever they feel like. Um, I don't think Legend of Dragoon is coming back, so whenever people ask me about Sony and Microsoft, I'm just like, oh, well, they get everything anyway, so what does it matter? So I'm always most excited for Nintendo, because they're the most, like, wildcard-ish. Like, it's like, whoa, you don't know what's gonna happen with them, you know? So, so yeah, and also, I, I've been soured on Sony and Microsoft, well, Sony in particular, because, like, they'll announce games and they'll, they'll be, like, 10 years out, you know? So I got, I'm really tired of Sony's press conferences, because they suck. Sony's press conferences are trash. Because they announce games and then like literally they're three, four years away. Like they announced Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm at E3 2014. Okay? 2014. I'm at E3 2014. Looking at Horizon Zero Dawn. 2015, 2016. Then finally we get it 2017. Same thing goes for Spider-Man. Same thing goes for Kingdom Hearts. I mean, don't get me started with Sony. So not trying to hate on them or anything, but their their, their conferences suck. They're trash because you don't know you don't ever know when they're getting the games. And look, Nintendo's been guilty of that too, Nintendo Directs and stuff. So I've, I've ranted on that as well. So no, not excited for Sony or Microsoft. But cool, like when the games come, obviously I'll buy them, right? I bought God of War, I bought Horizon Zero Dawn, I'll buy Spider-Man. So when the games come, I'll just buy them. But I'm done hyping myself up for those two companies. Um, let's see here. Um, we got another repost here. Um, um, Athena, uh, Nirvana says, reposted player since outside of what we know, I hope to see Kid Icarus. Yeah, I think Kid Icarus would be cool. Um, I think Sony will have a water addiction. <laughs> Mr. Tobu, uh, to Toby Kuma says player essence. Uh, hold up. Why won't it let me go up? Okay. Oh, now I messed, I messed up. All right. No, I got it. Um, beta three trailer Q1 2019 release date confirmation. Okay. Um, I don't think it's going to be Q1 2019, but I feel you there on the trailer. 
Um, roughly a year uh, and a half after Bayo one or two to clear heavy competition later half of 2018. Fire Emblem, uh, better show Fire Emblem. Okay, Fire Emblem, better show. Uh, yeah, I, th I think Bay I think Bayo three is 20 2018, but I don't think they have to clear the competition. I mean, I don't know. Nintendo's kind of in a league of their own, but what competition are you talking about? If you love Bayonetta, you're buying Bayonetta. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like it's going to compete with Call of Duty or something like that. You know, if, if you love Bayonetta, you're buying Bayonetta, plain and simple. Um, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, you're going to get it if you like it. It's that niche, that type of game. Uh, so I don't see what you're talking about. Now, if Nintendo has franchises that are similar to other franchises out there in terms of, you know, competition, unless you're talking about competing against other Nintendo games, which I can, I guess I can kind of see, man, yeah, maybe it's an early 2019, but I mean, who knows? I think it's 2018, but it could be 2019. You never know. I mean, you could be right. Spam emotes. Uh, what's up, Anton? What's up, Anton? How's it going, man? Or, well, hold, Alton. What's up, Alton? How's it going? Uh, player Essence. I, Danny says, Player Essence, how do you feel about Virtual Console not being on Switch yet? I don't care. I'm one of those that's like, I don't care about old games. Like, like Virtual Console is not beneficial. It's not super beneficial to Nintendo. Like, I know a lot of people sit there and say, oh, they love Virtual Console. And I know people love Virtual Console. But sitting there and rebuying the same old games is not, a, is not, I mean, it's cool. I get it. I understand why people want it, especially with the Switch. You can take it anywhere that you want. But I don't care about Virtual Console. Like, people start crying about old games that they've already bought like 10, 15 times. Like, I, I don't care. I rather want to, I want to see additions. I care more about Nintendo's, um additions like what they're going to do with the online uh with the classic games because you're going to be able to play games online for the first time ever without some type of hack or mod or whatever the case is i like that so classic games coming back with online classic games coming back with enhancements i like that but just virtual console just for virtual console I, i've never been a big fan of that never been a big fan of it because i've already played and bought these games a million times and there's no new enhancements virtual console is literally the same thing looks like trash on your hd tv you know like i just i'm not a virtual console fan <laughs> and, I, and I, you, I mean you guys have heard me say this a million times i'm not a huge virtual console fan i have a super nintendo classic I have an NES Classic. I can play those games on my TV. And now, oh, we got, again, you know, I mean, I, like I said, I get it. Portable play and all that. But 3DS had Virtual Console. I bought some games on 3DS. I'm like, okay, well, I already had Portable Play with these classic games. So, yeah, for me, it's just not a, it's, it's not a big deal. It's really not. Like, I just don't, I don't care for it as much as everyone else. Um, let's see here. Uh, Shinobu says, hey, OJ. Hey, Shinobu, how's it going? Um, so, um, Jumpman says, yeah, Sony's press conferences did not make me excite excited. Yeah, they, they're trash. Um, not the games are trash, but Sony's press conferences are trash. Uh, they're, they're not very good. Um, let's see here. Uh, Mama Mercy says, player says, do you think we will get a Metroid Prime 4 trailer? Oh, absolutely. I think Metroid Prime 4 needs to be there. Um, I think we'll get a trailer for it. Yeah, first look. Uh, player since I need Nintendo to bring back Pokemon Snap, please. I need it. I need it again. You don't need Pokemon Snap. It's because you don't need it. You would like it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if Nintendo's going to bring back Pokemon Snap. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, uh, Red Sea says, player since I think uh, big third party games will be announced in their September Direct. That's what happened last year, by the way. The repost, I just changed the words. The message is the same. Um, yeah, I mean, that could be the case, but I think that there's going to be, like, third-party games that, like, other developers talk about, too, you know, that are announced. So, so like, at, like, like, at Bethesda's press conference, you know, they, they had, well, they, they didn't have any new announcements, but they had Skyrim there, you know, they had, they had Skyrim, so, um, I think that you're gonna see some stuff, you'll, you'll see some stuff, you'll see what I'm talking about when E3 rolls around, but I think you're talking about, yeah, not a Nintendo's actual direct but you might see some stuff that nintendo's working on with other third-party developers like a joint collaboration stuff that could be in nintendo's uh, presentation so yeah that's 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 something that could happen um oj is right but i need another mini console <laughs> i mean look guys like i said i don't want to hate on virtual because i know there's a lot of virtual console fans but i'm really tired of buying the same classic games over and over and over like i i don't in my opinion, it's enough is enough for me. Enough is enough. Like, if Nintendo made virtual console to where you can transfer over your games from, like, the Wii U and all that, then that's fine. But that's not the case with virtual console. It would be, oh, you've got to buy those games again. So I'm not I'm not about this. And I've already played these games a million times. There's a million different ways to play them. I've played them portably. I've played them on my computer screen. I've played them on mini, mini consoles. I've played them on my Wii U. I've played them tablet, Wii U tablet portably. I've played them on my 3DS enough is enough with virtual console like I'm so enough is enough for me where people crying about these old games and like enough is enough for me I'm, I'm i'm done with virtual console i don't i don't want to hear anything about virtual console you know <laughs> 
Uh, another repost, it says uh, Master Driver Rex. And hold up. Um, Alton Venezuela, he donated a dollar ninety nine through Super Chat, and he says uh, Resident Evil Two Remake at E three, please. Okay, so sorry about that. I didn't read off that donation. I was in the middle of my rant, I think, or something like that. So thank you, Alton Venezuela. Do appreciate the dollar ninety nine donation. Really do appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah, Resident Evil Two Remake at E three would be great. Um, I'm hoping that it does come. Uh, so let me go ahead and get this repost. Um, it says player says, "Hey OJ, uh, do you think the story DLC for Xenoblade Chronicles Two will be the all new land at the end of the game or?" Yo, bro, 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 bro. That is a that is a huge spoiler for people. Why am I even re I should have scanned over it. That is a huge spoiler, my boy. Huge spoiler. Huge spoiler. Um, I'm not gonna talk about that. There's still people who have who are still buying Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Or sorry, still buying Xenoblade Chronicles 2. That is a massive spoiler. Um Let's see here. Uh let's move on. Uh they'll never <laughs> let's move on here. Um uh, Sakon Ten says, "Player Essence, um, what game? Uh, what game announcement would you uh, would make you cry? I don't know if there's any game announcement that would make me cry, but like, if there was one that I know that would make me get very close, it would be a full blown Chrono Trigger remake with Nintendo." Nintendo, Monolith, Soft, and Square Enix all working on it. Full blown Chrono Trigger remake with like PS3, Wii U level graphics. Um, even if it was that low, even if it wasn't like super high end, like but just that level of graphics, like, like Final Fantasy XII, for example. Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, that level of graphics, fully redone Chrono Trigger. That would get me very close to being teary eyed. That would get, but I mean, we all know this. Like, I have a video talking about this soon, right here, guys. Like, for me, 2018, for, for Square Enix, is put up or shut up. Um, put up or shut up for Square Enix in 2018 when it comes to the Switch, you know. Uh, but like I said, I don't want to spoil too much, but I do have a video talking about that. I do have a video coming up talking about that. So, uh, so let's see here. Uh, T Dude says, uh, player, since do you think Ubisoft will reveal the first hands on gameplay of Beyond Good and Evil 2 during their E3 press conference this June? Yeah, I think we'll see the first actual, like, real gameplay footage of that game. Um, you're asking why Cordelia is in the thumbnail. Why not? Because we're talking about Fire Emblem, we're talking about E3. Uh, is there a reason why she can't be in the thumbnail? Please let me know. <laughs> People have, there's been multiple mentions of Fire Emblem here, so I think it's okay to put a a Nintendo character in the thumbnail. So I don't see what the problem is. Um, let's see here. Um, okay, you're worried about the competition of uh, Bayonetta clashing with Fire Emblem and Pokemon clashing too. See, that's the problem that I have with people who get upset with stuff like that. It's like, is there a reason why Nintendo can't have multiple games? Like people who love Bayonetta, everyone who loves Bayonetta isn't going to rush out and go Fire Emblem. Everyone who loves Fire Emblem isn't going to rush out and go buy Bayonetta. Everyone who loves Bayonetta might not like Pokemon. Everyone who likes Pokemon isn't going to buy Bayonetta. I don't see how those games clash. Not everyone, not every Nintendo fan rushes out and buys every single game that comes out. There's multiple months left. Do you only want one game in the second half of the year? Should there be no games outside of Pokemon and Smash and that's it? I don't, I don't understand that logic. I really don't understand it. They're all different games. They all have different fan bases. A lot of people make enough money to where they can buy a game a month or at least a game every couple of months. I don't see what the problem is. I really don't see what the problem is. I don't. Um, five sponsors so OJ can give me a Switch. <laughs> Yo, shout outs. Yeah, we do have a, um, if you just joined us, we do have a Nintendo Switch giveaway at 100 sponsors. We're five away. Also a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe uh, Tournament. Uh, for a ten dollar eShop card, so uh, there are there are that. Um, OJ, what's your impression of of God of War? Uh, it's really good. My impressions of God of War, it's really good. I'm gonna be playing in the performance mode tonight, so make sure you guys check that out around six p.m. my time, uh, maybe a little bit afterwards. Uh, so look forward to that. Maybe it'll be even play better with the performance mode on. Uh, so we'll see. But overall, I, I like it. I think it's good. Excuse me. Um, trashing is it uh, thrashing? Thrashing Wolf says, OJ, uh, you think uh, they're going to port over any three DS games? to the Switch, such as Project Cross Zone. Um, no, I don't think many uh, DS ports are going to come over. But, I mean, you never know with that one. You never know. Um, never know. Um, let's see. Um, I Daddy says, 64 says, I, I don't know why people are so... It's not mad about multiple games. People get worried about multiple games. Like, oh, this game, it's going to take away from this game. But, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I've never understood that logic. Like, I've never 
understood you have games that are very different. Like po Pokemon has nothing to do with Bayonetta. There, like, there's people that can buy Pokemon that can't buy Bayonetta. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bayonetta is going to be a mature rated game. There are adults that are going to buy Bayonetta, you know, and aren't interested in Pokemon. There are people that are way interested in Pokemon and aren't interested in Bayonetta. I mean, it, I don't know why it would clash. Like, why? They're, they're so polar opposites of games, you know? Like, <laughs> they're so completely different, you know? So I, I, don't, I don't get that. I, I've never understood that logic. Um... Uh, let's see, players. Uh, do you think Fallout collections will be announced on the Switch? Will we know what Bethesda thinks? Like, no, I don't think there's gonna be like a Fallout collections. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, exactly. And Solcar also says something that I've also repeated. You don't have to buy the games as, like as soon as they come out. Like somebody can buy Pokemon in 2018. Let's say Pokemon launches this year, right? And then Bayonetta comes out. Let's say Bayonetta and Pokemon both launch this year. They, let's say that one of them launches in September, the next one launches in November. You don't have to buy them day and day. You don't have to buy Bayonetta as soon as it drops. I mean, you can buy Bayonetta next year. You can buy Bayonetta in a few months. You don't gotta buy it right then and there. There are still people buying Bayonetta right now. They didn't buy it day one, but they're they're buying it now. There's still people buying Mario Kart 8 Deluxe that probably had a Switch last year, but just got around to buying it now, you know? Um, evergreen titles. I mean, that, that's what Nintendo titles have always been. Heck, even Bayonetta on the Wii U sold over a long period of time, considering how um, pathetic the Wii U's fan base was and what that game actually did. So yeah, I don't I don't really see the issue. I don't I don't see the issue. Um off topic, but did you finish Nino Kuni 2? No, I haven't finished Nino Kuni 2. I haven't finished it. Um uh, Master Driver Rex this player since a better question. Will the new story DLC be a sequel or about the the Aegis uh, the Aegis War? All right, I'll go <laughs> Don't say that, Master Driver Rex. <laughs> don't say that last part. Um, I think that the, the new DLC will be more of a continuation of what happened towards the end of the game. Uh, so yeah. Uh, what about 3DS? What about the 3DS, Jump Mom? What do you want to know about the 3DS? Uh, TG Lopez is player since I would watch Data War stream, but I don't want to be spoiled. Sorry, I don't want to, uh, I won't make it. That's okay. You don't have to watch if you don't want to. Um... Hollow says, uh, when, when, when will we get some free-to-play games? Pl um, please, I'm broke <laughs> to buy all these games. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if we're going to get many free-to-play games. That model necessarily isn't the biggest thing that works on systems. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe Paladins will come over. Is Paladins free-to-play on the Xbox One and PS4? Um, I think we're going to get Fortnite. That's free-to-play. So, I think uh, Fortnite's going to be coming over. So, maybe we get some of those this year. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see here. Jetty Plus says, it's been a while uh, since I caught your, uh, your streams, uh, OJ. How is it? How's it going? Uh, it's going good, Jetty Plus. How are you doing today? It's going really good. I can't complain. Um, Bayonetta 3 clashing with Pokemon. Well, Pokemon would destroy it in sales, but it would be awesome to have both in 2018. Well, I mean, yeah, but they don't clash. It's not like, it's not like they're taking, like Pokemon has taken away sales from Bayonetta 3. That's not the case. It's... <laughs> It's uh, people who want Bayonetta will buy Bayonetta. Like, it has a hardcore dedicated fan base. It's not like, okay, well, I'm going to pick either Pokemon or Bayonetta. I mean, there might be some people, but the majority of people that are are that are that looking forward to Bayonetta are going to buy Bayonetta no matter what. You know, Pokemon has nothing to do with it, you know? Um, uh, yeah, we forgive. We, we forgive. <laughs> we forgive. Uh... Um, it's okay. It's okay, Master Driver Rex. Nobody, nobody's, nobody's mad at you, dude. Nobody's mad at you. Don't, don't, don't say that. What you just did. Don't say that, please. Nobody. Everyone wants you around here, dude. Um, uh, Paladins destroyed your PC. You have to buy a new computer. How did it destroy your PC? It's Giz. I want to know about that. Um, uh, DJ King says still waiting for the Arena of Valor open beta in the U.S. Yeah, that's a free to play game, isn't it? With microtransactions. I don't know what they're gonna do for the Switch though. Um, um, Hunter McGill thinks that Bayonetta 3 is coming this year. Okay, we'll see. Uh, Sock Contents is at Player Essence. Did you know that there's a Blaze Blue beta happening next month on the Switch? Yeah, I think I already reported on that a while ago, actually. Um, Lady Fantasy Maniac Gaming UK says, Yes, um, I don't get that stuff too. Yeah, so you see what I'm talking about. Um, Ghost of Conquest says, Sup, how, how late am I in? Um, if you look at the if you look at the page, look right, look right below the viewer. You can see how how long I've been streaming, and that will tell you. Uh, it says on my clock that you're about 54 minutes into the stream. You can subtract about five minutes from that because I play music for about five minutes, so you're about 50 minutes um, into the stream here. 
Um, let's see. Uh, uh, do I? Do you have a Fortnite mod? No, I don't have a Fortnite mod. I don't even know what that is. Uh, Mr. Toby Toby Kuma says, player, since you um, you thinking of clashing is a non-issue, quells uh, my irrational fears on that. Thanks, OJ. Haha. <laughs> I just want everything to shine and succeed. It's. I, well, the the reason why I don't understand why people fear it in the first place is because this is not the first like Nintendo releases games all the time that are close next to each other. Like this is not like something like crazy. Like oh, oh, what if this year this happens? It's like they've done this before. They did this last year. They've done this. This is a, a normal thing for games to come out close to each other. You know what I'm saying? Like this is not. I'm really feeling. You know, it. this is not something crazy. You know, this is not something different. Shoutouts to is it? Um, I can't see the name, but Jay Johnson hitting us with that Patreon pledge. Thank you so much, Jay Johnson. Do appreciate that. Really feeling the Patreon pledge. Uh, five Jake Johnson pledged five dollars via Patreon. So shoutouts, man. Um, tier two, tune in. Welcome to the village. Um, everyone in chat, please. If you got that, I'm feeling it emote. Please spam that. I'm feeling it um, um, emote for my boy Jake Johnson. Hit us with that five dollar pledge. And of course, if you want access to PE Arena, make sure you put your friend code in the Patreon, um, and I'll get you access to Discord and all that good stuff, man. Make sure you follow me on Twitter too, so I can I can DM it to you on Twitter. Um, and also your friend code as well. So thank you so much, Jake Johnson. I do appreciate the five dollar Patreon pledge. Um, okay, so when you when you okay the game licensing oh killed your processor. Oh okay, I see, I see. Well, that's interesting. Uh, do I play Roblox? No, I don't play Roblox. No. Um, yo, shout outs to Brian Sherwood hitting us with that uh, subscription. Thank you so much, Brian. Do appreciate it. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village of Player Essence. Everyone in chat, please make Brian Sherwood feel very welcome. Do appreciate that, man. Appreciate the subscription. Like I said, it's been hard around these streets. Uh, so thank you so much for the subscription, homie. Um, let's see. Skip, Skip Bayless. <laughs> Who's Skip Bayless in this chat, my guy? Is Skip Bayless here? Like LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James. He's horrible. He's worse. He's not as good as Jordan. Um, Let's see here, GTA and stuff. Donated $2 through Super Chat. It says, can, um, can you say hi to my brother? He loves you. Oh, that, oh wow, my heart. Thank you so much. You didn't tell me your brother's name. But um, hi to GTA and stuff's brother. Um, I really do appreciate the kind words. Um, I really do. That makes me really happy that there's people out there that um, love my content and love me. So thank you so much, man. I do appreciate that. And hi, GTA and stuff's brother. Thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> that's nice. That's that's very nice. Um, J Two Blues, uh, but thank you for the two dollar donation. Uh, GTA and stuff. Um, J Two Blues says, "Player, since do you think we'll see Ghost of um? I forgot. Is it? Did you spell that right? I'm not sure if you spelled that right, but I know what you're talking about. That uh game from Sucker Punch, that new game um at E3. Um, yeah, I think we'll see it. I think we'll see it. But then we're gonna see it at next year's E3, then the following year's E3, then the following year's E3. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I think we'll see." It. I think we'll see it at E3. I think we'll see it there. Um, yeah, exactly. Super, Mar um, Super Mario Odyssey did launch a week before, uh, or Fire Emblem Warriors did launch a week before Super Mario Odyssey. And then Nintendo decided to launch a bunch of, like there was a bunch of third-party games that all launched like right next to each other, right? Like all in the same week almost, pretty much, right? Like Doom, LA Noir, and Skyrim, those all launched like right next to each other. And like people just bought what they wanted, you know? um resident evil was in the same month i mean it's just people buy what they want like if they don't buy it then they'll buy it later if you want if you want beta you're, you're gonna buy beta you're gonna find a way to buy it at some point if you want pokemon obviously you're gonna buy it or you're gonna wait and buy it if you want fire emblem even if they all launch in relatively close times you'll buy what you want um and if you can't afford it then you'll wait and buy it later so so there you go um so let's see yo what's up cheeser how's it going man shout outs uh uh, let's see. Ruin Black Cats is it's normal, but I would um, wouldn't want my game near Pokemon release date. Kind of um, uh, like last year, they had Fire Emblem Warriors between Mario Odyssey and a week between each other. Well, I mean that's because what else could you do? I mean the last half of the year was packed. There was a bunch of different games. Obviously, you don't want your game too close to next game. But people who, like I, like I'll say this again: even if Bayonetta was next to Pokemon, people who want Bayonetta will buy Bayonetta. It's not going to affect too much with those two games. Now, if you put Yokai Watch Four and Pokemon right next to each other, then okay, then you've got you've got maybe a point. But Bayonetta and Pokemon are two completely different types of games, and even if they were close to each other, then it wouldn't really make. I don't think it would matter. People who want Bayonetta are going to buy Bayonetta. It's not like oh well. 
have to pick between the two people trust me guys trust like i've been analyzing these sales for a long time i've been looking at release dates and stuff for a long time and when i trust me when i tell you that bayonetta and pokemon have a completely different base and people who play and love bayonetta will buy it day one people who are iffy on it will wait and then buy it later this is this is what will happen so it doesn't really matter with those two games now of course yeah like like, yeah, you don't want to watch, like, Mario Odyssey and, like, Pokemon right next to each other. Yeah, like, those, that that you don't want to do, you know. But Nintendo's smart enough not to do that. So, that's not going to happen. Um, Shoutouts to Z4 Streams. Hitting us with the dollar donation through Super Chat. Thank you so much, Z4 Streams. I do appreciate the donation, homie. Um, Sock on 10 says, um, his name is Josh. Okay, hi, Josh. Thanks for watching, dude. Appreciate it. Uh, OJ is filled with determination. <laughs> What is all this about? Amiibo fan says, hey, OJ, I think it's just Nintendo fans not used to getting so many games at the same time while getting games announced as well. Uh, yeah, that's part of it. I think I talked about that. I actually had to make a rant video because a guy said that, I remember, this This, this triggered me. A guy in my comment section, this, this is the reason why I don't go to my comment section as much. And if you guys want to talk to me, you can talk to me here or you can talk to me on Twitter. I'll, I'll respond to you guys on there. But comment section... I just kind of stay away from my YouTube comment sections. Like, I don't I don't go there a lot. So just follow me on Twitter, and you know you'll get a response there. Or I'll give you a like or whatever the case is, or retweet what you got. Um, but a guy triggered me last year, man. Like, he was like, Nintendo, they're idiots. How are they going to launch Super Mario Odyssey in October and then Xenoblade Chronicles in December? And I'm like, that triggered me so bad because I was like, why? Why? What's wrong with launching Super Mario Odyssey in October and and Doom or whatever? Yeah, he said Doom in November or Skyrim in November and and Xenoblade Chronicles in December. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with launching those three games in that succession. Do you not want games every month? Do you not want? I mean, like look at the PS4. The PS4 has gotten like twelve high quality games in the first four months. It's got like Nino Kuni, Dragon Ball, Monster Hunter. Do you not want that? What do you guys want? Like it. it uh, then like the Wii U, because like, like I was around, obviously there's not a lot of, I mean, there's still channels that are around from the Wii U days, but a lot of the channels that, you know, that, that were like Nintendo fans that were coming up during the Wii U days have stopped making videos or don't make as much. But in the Wii U days, you could see the desperation, like the people from the Wii U days would be slapping the people that are saying this stuff now. Like, do you guys remember what happened to us? There would be months where we'd get nothing. We would just get absolutely no ports. We wouldn't even get ports. At least, at least with the, uh, sorry about that. That uh, freaking, my uh, news feed made a loud noise. So sorry about that, guys. But there would be, there would be times on the Wii U where we would get nothing for two, three months at a time. And people would be going crazy. Now we're getting games. And now people are, are saying, are having, there's a problem now. It's like, why? Like, were you around during the Wii U days? Like, do you understand how horrible that was? <laughs> Uh, shout out to DJ King who donated $2 to the Super Chat and says, play Ease, um, Ease Memories of uh, Celsetta, um, the boss theme Ignite. Okay, I'll definitely do that. And also Amiibo fan hitting us with the $1 donation to the Super Chat. No message, but thank you guys so much. I do appreciate that. Amiibo fan and DJ King, you guys are already um, sponsors of the channel. So thank you so much. I do appreciate you guys' uh, uh, you guys' support. Uh, so let's go ahead and play some um, Ease for us, right? Um, Ease Memories. Okay. Um, boss theme, boss theme ignite. All right, so let's see this. I've never heard this one before. Um, I don't see where it says ignite. I just see just the. Um. So yeah, I don't. I don't really see it here. So hopefully this is it, DJ King. Let me know how it sounds, guys. All right, let's go down here. Party Man says, um, uh, Player Essence looking forward to Smash most at E3, along with some surprises. Nintendo has up their sleeve. Yeah, we're going to get that. Um, he's probably upset because his wallet can't handle too many games. Maybe that's the case. I'm not really sure. Maybe. Maybe. Let me know how it sounds, guys. How's the music? Um, Wii was better than the Xbox One. Not when it came to, not when it came to actual, like, normal releases. Um... It was as dry as a desert. Yeah, but people complained that there was no games. And now we're having people say, oh, well, I don't want the games to launch. You know, like, it's like no matter what, there's people are going to be upset. But, like, I was around during the Wii U days, guys, and it was horrible. The Wii U days was absolutely horrible. I can single-handedly blame the Wii U for many things that have went wrong in my life. <laughs> um, 
Um, hey, OJ, I have you on Twitter. How can I message you? Um, you can just tweet tweet at me. Just tweet at me. Just tag me at Player Essence. Um, I remember Wii U days, we would get like eight months without games. Not eight months. There's never been a time where we went eight months without games until the very end of the Wii U's life. Um, not eight, no, We never went eight months without games. Like the longest that I remember is like three to four months. There'll be times with no games. Uh, but eight, but never that long, but I see what you're saying, though. I, I see what you're saying. If Pokemon comes out this year, it's over for Xbox? I don't think so. Xbox still gets a lot of third-party games, so I don't think it's over for Xbox. No, I, I, don't, I don't think so. My alarm went off. Okay, never mind. It's good. Um, I love it when OJ gets triggered by, uh, to correct fools with, with facts. <laughs> that, that guy triggered me. That guy triggered me because he was essentially saying that Nintendo should not release games in, in succession. Like in months, he was saying there shouldn't be Super Mario Odyssey, Doom, or Skyrim, and Xenoblade. They should split those up, and I'm like, you dumb? Like, why would you want that? Why would you want them to do that? Like, why? That's, no, no, release them. People will buy what they want. If, if people can't afford it, then wait, save up. Save your money and then buy it when you feel like buying it. I mean, ugh. it does trigger me when people do that because I was around during the Wii U days. That that's the reason why it triggers me because I've been I was around during the Wii U days where everyone complained about not getting games. Like seriously, even droughts for like two months, like a, a two month. People would complain if there wasn't a game for two months. People would complain, you know. So, so yeah, um, I'm keep, you're keeping your Wii U. Once Smash comes out, I'll be honest. Once Smash comes out for the Switch. The Wii U would be almost useless. It'll be pretty much useless for me outside of my daughter playing. Obviously, for my daughter, she loves the Wii U. Uh, she loves the games on there. So, well, she loves Super Mario 3D World. So, I'm going to keep it hooked up for her. But um, it's not hooked up to the TV. It's just hooked up. She, had, she just plugged with the Wii U gamepad. Um, so, yeah. Xbox has no games. It has. It actually has more games than, than the Switch. You mean exclusives? The Xbox gets more third-party support right now. Um, let me, what am I, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this. All right, there we go. Or no, I'm looking for my community page. My bad. I want to see if there's any comments on there. Um, all right. So you guys have any more predictions? If not, we're gonna go ahead and move on to Nintendo's incredible sales pace and the the what's called the investors meeting that's coming up. So I think I think we're good on that. Uh, OJ, I remember when I used to work at GameStop and there was a way Wii U barely had any games. It was sad to try to get pre-orders on the Wii U. Yeah, man. I mean, I agree. It was it was tough. Um, it was tough. It was. It definitely wasn't. It definitely wasn't a good. A good deal. Um, Master Driver Rex reposted. Says player says, "What do you? Uh, what do you tend to do when you're feeling bad?" For me, I watch some. Um, is it Amaki Twenty One old stuff? Uh, because the anger and suffering behind some me, some people have it have it worse. Um, when I'm feeling bad, I usually um, eat. <laughs> Which is not good, uh, but I usually get something that I like, like some candy or something. Um, I usually, I mean, I have a daughter, so I usually pick her up and throw her into there and make sure that she's happy. And that usually cheers me up. But I usually go grab like a, a box of candy um, and then you just come back and eat it. Or I work or I get on my computer and I just start working like, like. Like, like I said the other day, I was upset because the people in my chat, like on my YouTube chat, they were like accusing me of just like copying John and like, there's no reason to watch here, you know, because, you know, now, oh, he's doing green screen. Oh, he's copying, you know, he's doing dumb, like higher quality videos. Oh, he's copying. You know, that kind of pissed me off. That made me feel upset because I do like three videos a day. I, I edit, I live stream, I do as much content as possible. I have comprehensive coverage of Japanese gaming that no other channel does to the level that I do. In my opinion, no other one-man channel does to the level that I do. And then to see somebody just write off my work because I increased the quality of my my videos is disheartening. Is very And then to see people agree with that crap, that made me upset. So I went out and got a box of candy and came back and worked. So that's what I do. That that That's what I do. But that, that actually made me upset. It pissed me off. I didn't respond to the person, but it pissed me off because that's not the case. Like a green, if all you think of my channel is a green screen, you know, if that's what you think of my, what separates one channel from another is a green screen. That's, I need to do something then. I, I need to, like, that's horrible. Cause like a mil millions of people use green screens for, for news videos or for videos in general. So, so yeah, that, that pissed me off. So that's what I did. I went and got a box of candy, my favorite candy which is uh, Mike and Ike's Mega Mix. I went and got a box of Mike and Ike's Mega Mix. I got me some um, iced tea. 
I calmed down, relaxed, and then I got working on some more videos to improve the quality even more, to make even better thumbnails, to research what I can do. So just try to move on from it, man. Just try to get what you like, work at something, play a game that you like, and just move on. That's what I do, man. Um, mm, uh, yeah, I, for, I forgot them. I forgot them. But that did that did piss me off because essentially what he was saying was there's no re he said there's no reason to watch my channel just because because of a green screen. You know what I'm saying? Not because I, I mean, like, like I said, I have comprehensive Japanese coverage that I know no other channel does, you know, and that's that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Um, um, yeah, I'm I, like I said, I ignored it. I ignored it. I didn't respond to him. I really wanted to, but I didn't respond to him. I, di I didn't respond to him. Thank you guys for the encouragement. I really do appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Um, thank you. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing here, guys. Uh, we have Nintendo's incredible sales pace. And also, I, I didn't put it in there, but the investors meeting. So guys, this is going to be big because I think it's uh, DJ King. I don't know if maybe you can correct me. Um, on this, but is, is it this Friday we're going to be getting that information, or is it this Thursday? I know sometimes it's a Thursday, sometimes it's a Friday, sometimes it's even a Wednesday on some of these things, but Nintendo is having their uh, financial briefing, so this is when we're going to find out exactly when, like, how much the Nintendo Switch is sold. So, what I want to do, guys, you guys all know that Nintendo Switch is selling really well. Uh, we've been seeing the MPD numbers for March. Nintendo had another great March, so that's going to, that 300,000 could have pushed them to, like, let's say, like a 17 million, or to, like, a, a, a milestone, like a 16.5 million, or or something like that, right? Like if it's 300,000, chances are they've been pushed towards some type of 0.5 or main um, whole number milestone. So let's go in and get some, um, let's get some uh, predictions. Uh, this week, we're gonna find out what do you guys think Nintendo's uh, sales are at when it comes to Nintendo Switch. Now remember, this is from March of last year to the end of March of this year, okay? We have the MPD, we have the Media Create, Nintendo sold over 100K. Probably like 150k maybe in Japan or no not 150k for the month of March maybe like 100k for the month of March in Japan we'll find out a little bit no yeah actually no we already know yeah over 100k for the month of the probably more because I'm okay yeah because I'm thinking about okay I'm all mixed up okay Nintendo definitely sold more than 100 and like 10k for the month of March in Japan because they were selling 40 to 50k a week um, so yeah so they definitely hit probably over 150k right because 50k 50k 40k another uh, 40 something K. So yeah, they probably got near 150 in the U S they did over 300,000 units. So they definitely put in like another like million probably worldwide or near that. So what do you guys think here? I'm going to go over some of the comments. Um, um, April 26th, that would be Friday in Japan when it goes up. Okay. Thanks DJ King. Appreciate that. So yeah, Friday, this Friday, um, I guess, okay, so Shinobu has a pretty big guess. My guess is um, 18 million switches sold. That's a big guess, but yeah, maybe. TG says, player, since there is always going to be uh, the hate one way or another, uh, you're a very hard worker. Um, you inspire me to do better. Excuse me, just keep doing what you do. I'm going to keep doing what I do, guys. It's, it's not like that made me quit or anything. You know, it's not like it's going to make me quit. It just pissed me off because, because that's so BS, you know, and then you have idiots agreeing with that, which is just... Are you guys not like? Are they not watching my channel? Like I like I said, I have comprehensive Japanese RPG Nintendo coverage. Like there's no other channel that does it. One man team that does it does as much as I do. Like I I know this. Like there's no other one man team that does as many live streams I do combined with the videos. Like I if anybody has one, let me know. Like I but I can guarantee you that they're not a one man team. I can guarantee you that they're not a one man team. So that, that pissed me off, you know, <laughs> that, like I said, that triggered me, but I, I didn't respond to him. I just got a box of candy, got my iced tea. I just got back to work. You know, I just got back to work. So I didn't respond to him. You know, I didn't make it a big deal, but it did piss me off. <laughs> um, Randy uh, Sperger has 21.3 million. Okay. So Randy, I think it's a bit high. I think it's a bit high. Very optimistic. I think it's a bit high. Um, 17 million is, is a common occurrence. Party Man says 17 million. Um, T Dude says if the switch reaches. No, I'm not saying if. I'm telling you. I'm asking you what your prediction is. Not if it does, then boom. Like, like we all know the switch is going to sell well. But what is your prediction, T Dude? What is your prediction? Um, Till OJ puts out way more videos than Spotify. John just puts out one video. He's done. Okay. Well, no, no. Hold up. Hold up. Time, 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 time. John, John puts out great quality videos. His videos take a long time to edit. Um, I don't want a direct comparison between me and him in that type of way, in that type of way. John does a good job. John will do as much as he can for that day, considering the type of editing that he does, considering his internet. I have much better internet than John. That's another thing that I have to also mention. My internet's way better. If John's internet was better, he'd probably do, he'd probably put out more, but his internet's kind of trashy. Um, and his videos take a long time to render, like super long time to render. So 
I'm not trying to hate on, I'm definitely not trying to bring that in. Um, what I'm saying is that John has such a good channel in certain ways in terms of what he covers, technology, all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm not as good with that type of stuff. John takes apart things. John like put together Labo, you know, John does all sorts of stuff. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not just my channel, but John's channel as well. Like if all you think of John's channel is a green screen, then I guess we're both doing something wrong because John is so much more than a green screen. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's so much more than a green screen. Both of it, our channels are so much more than green screens in terms of what we do. Um, so that, that's, that's what I meant by that. You know, it's not about the, like the amount of videos that we put out. It's the, the, the type of content that we put out. Our channels are clearly different, you know, clearly different. Like when it comes to tech, I, I know nothing. John does what John, John interviewed a freaking legisl a legislation guy, right? John interviewed um, a Hawaiian Senator about loot boxes. Like, I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like John, what else did John, John interviewed the guy from, um, the, what's it called? The that streaming thing that hasn't come to switch yet that everyone's talking about. I mean, there's so many different things that we do compared to other people that I do compared to him and all that. So that's the reason why it pissed me off is because, because our channels are, they're different. The content's different. And like, all, if all you're seeing is a green screen for news videos, then there's a problem. Um, shout outs to uh, Leo Aguilar hitting us with the, uh, with the $2 donation. It says, um, how realistic is Pokemon being in 2018? It's very realistic. Uh, based on a lot of the rumors and everything that's came out, it's definitely very realistic, very realistic. Um, Shout outs to uh, Mar uh, Pac uh, Pacabar. Hit us with a subscription. Thank you so much, Mar. I do appreciate that. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village of Player Essence. Everyone in the chat, please spam that headband email if you got it for Mar P. Um, also to Leo, thank you so much, man. I do appreciate that donation. Um, and yeah, Pokemon, uh, definitely. It could come out 2018, dude. Like it's, we've seen a lot of evidence of it coming out, like the localizations being wrapped up or being um, ongoing. So if the localizations are being done, that means the game is done because they've gotten all the script, everything's done. Uh, so, or the game's pretty much done. Maybe they have to just polish. So I would put it over 50%. I would put it over 50% that Pokemon comes out this year. Um, but yeah, I really do appreciate the $2 donation, homie. I really do. Uh, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and get into more of these predictions here. 16.5 um, um, to 17 million, Maxwell says. Okay, 30 million by the end of the year. That's 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 realistic. Smash and, smash and Pokemon? Yeah, absolutely. Ruin Black Cat says 19.7 million. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, they're probably at 17 to 18 million. Okay, somewhere in that range. That That is probably the safe bet, right? Um, I would say 18.5 million. Uh, Skip Bayless, 90 million, baby. 1 billion switches. Rainway, there we go. Rainway. Um, exactly, Avidin. Says, yo, um, Spawn, RGT, Dreamcast guy, all of you work hard, uh, man, in all different ways. Exactly, exactly. Um, the Artisan says, uh, Switch uh, should easily pass N64 worldwide sales by the end of the, the second fiscal year. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I would think that Switch would get to 30, 30 million by the end of this year. I think N64 is at, what, 33 million? So I think that, it, I think it should probably pass it, yeah, by, like, yeah, by the end of, the, so, like, next March, it should definitely pass it by then, absolutely. Um, hey, Joe, do you mind if I tweet you my song request? Did you have a song request, Amiibo fan? Um, okay, yeah, go ahead and tweet me the song request, um, and I'll check it, I'll check it right now. Go ahead and, go ahead and tweet me that, and I'll play it, I'll play it through, because, yeah, you, you didn't, you didn't put a message, but, yeah, um, go ahead, feel free, feel free. Um, I don't know. LOL. It's all good, Ruin Black. Yeah, you got some good predictions, my guy. Um, you both sit in a chair in your videos, so I guess Brenda person can see what's copying. Um, John does not sit in a chair in his videos. Um, John does, John definitely does not sit in a chair. Um, in his videos, he's standing up. You can tell that he's standing up in his videos. Um, so yeah, John does not sit in a chair. Um, I sit in the chair though. <laughs> um yeah the sponsor it does say zero out of 100 i don't know why there must be some issue with Streamlabs, but it's at 95 we're at 95 so if we get five more um we're gonna have a mario kart uh deluxe tournament and then we'll also have a nintendo switch giveaway uh so yeah uh so five more for that um yeah it's a glitch in Streamlabs, guys Gl glitch in Streamlabs. um uh, player essence uh next question uh though do we see it at e3 or at the end of 2018 or early 2019 pokemon i think it would be at e3 because they announced pokemon at last year's e3 so i think that they'd bring it to e3 right that's what i would think um let's see here so let's see i'm looking for that song request um i don't see that song request the mule fan so when you're ready to send that over please send it over um Mm -mm. Sock content says uh, 80 million and OJ will reach 50k subs by the end of the year. JK, I, well, at the pace that we're going, yeah, it's going to be about 50k by the end of the year. So, 
That's actually somewhat accurate. <laughs> you don't need to joke about that. Although there could be big boosts usually for E3. E3 is usually a big boost time. Um, so I'm hoping that this year's E3, like I can just provide comprehensive coverage of E3, comprehensive live streams and all that. So this will be the first E3 where I have my new form of live streaming and my new form of editing videos and all that. So I'm thinking that this year's E3, I can get better quality videos out. So more people will subscribe than like last year, but last year was pretty good. Last year was pretty good for E3. So I'm hoping I can get at least maybe five or 6,000 subscribers just in that E3 month. You know, I'm hoping June is going to be big, but you never know. Um, you never know what's going to happen. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. So we've got some music here from Amiibo Fan. Sonic Mega Collections credits theme. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoy the music. Uh, reposted player essence. If you watch anything uh, by um, Armake21. Is it Armake? Okay, Armake. Watch his content sensitive videos for Sonic 06. That was funny. Warning, prepared for strong language. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to watch stuff on that, dude. Um, I don't really have time to be watching, like, funny, like, weird videos from people. So, yeah, I'm probably not going to watch anything like that. Just just being honest. Um, uh, Dank Beam Center says, Player Essence, do you think Kid Icarus is coming to the Nintendo Switch? I think he'll come, but I just don't know when it's going to come. I, I think he'll come at some point, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um... I hope Pokemon wins me over like it did in the past. I don't see the spark anymore after the release of Sun and Moon. Well, that's Sun and Moon. I think uh, new graphics and um, a new form of play will probably spark your interest. 60, 60 million Switch sales. Yeah, that's probably on the low end, but yeah, I can see that. Um, DJ King Gaming says, I say by March 2019, Switch will, sales will be around 34 to 40, 35 to 45 million. It's a pretty big window there, DJ. <laughs> Pokemon potentially Animal Crossing before then. That's, that's a big window. Can you, can you narrow that down a little bit, my guy? <laughs> You're giving yourself a lot of wiggle room, dude. <laughs> um, uh, Tayshawn uh, McCree says, uh, when is um, um, APE Ape? Who's Ape going to do a new IP for the Switch? I don't know who that is, uh, uh, Tayshawn. Um, OJ, uh, OJ, 35 million units sold by the end of the year. I don't know if they can... Can they manufacture that many? I, I doubt it, dude. They said 20 million for the fiscal year, so from this March to the next March, so. I mean, it's possible, man, but it'd be tough, dude. It's, it'd be tough. It'd be very tough. Um, the Artisan says, oh, wait, hold up. Um, El Taurus Bay says, I wonder how many will be subscribed to Nintendo's online. Um, most people who want to play video games, right? I would say more than half. Probably will be subscribed to the online because because like of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Smash Brothers, you know Pokemon. You're gonna need it for all of Nintendo's best. All of Nintendo's best games have online play. Arms, Splatoon, like <laughs> Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Smash, Pokemon. You're gonna need it if you want to play online. So you're gonna get a lot of subscriptions, man. There's gonna be a lot of people. At least half of the base. Um, switch price drop happening this year, maybe 250. No, switch price drop is not happening this year. The reason why it's not because it's selling, it's selling really well at the price that it's at. So yeah, unfortunately, no price drop. Um, Amiibo fan says my guess is 17.43 million. All right, guys. So the music that you guys just got done listening to was Sonic Mega Collection credits theme YouTube. So there you go. Um, there you go. If you want to download that song or whatever the case is. Uh, all right, TG Lopez, thanks for coming out to the stream. Do appreciate that. Do appreciate it. Uh, T Dude says, okay, player, so my prediction is Nintendo Switch will reach 18 million worldwide. There you go. Then that's a solid prediction. There you go. There you go. Um, um, I feel like Switch. I'm really feeling it. Oh, we got another Patreon pledge here. We got is that Sokar repledging? I know you were on Patreon before, so Sokar hitting us with the hit, hitting us up with that repledge on Patreon. If you guys got that um, emote for the really feeling it, the Monado, go ahead and spam that for my boy Sokar Hitness with that $5 pledge via Patreon. Thank you so much. Remember, you get access to PE Arena. Whether you sponsor on YouTube or you pledge on Patreon, you do get access to PE Arena where we play games as a community for up to three hours. And we're going to add in, trust me, guys, we're going to add in more days. Um, I think even we're going to start adding in days pretty soon here. Um, now that I have this new schedule, um, I think I'm going to be good. I think I'm going to be good. So we're going to start adding in some Super Smash Brothers days during the week. So, uh, so yeah, look forward to that. Look forward to that. And uh, thank you so much, Sokar. I do appreciate the, the $5 pledge, man. Um, Keenan Parker says, OG, I think that the switch will be at $18 million. 
Um, yeah, man, that's possible. That's definitely possible. Definitely possible. Um, Dark Saggy, Dark Saggy, shout out for the subscription recently. I know you subscribed just recently, Dark Saggy, so thank you for the subscription, homie. And he says, you think uh, the N60 or the 64 Mini is coming out in November 2018? I think the 64 Mini could potentially come out this year. I think it potentially could come out this year. We just have to wait and see kind of like what's going down, you know, like there could be anything that happens, you know, there can definitely be anything that happens. So, uh, so yeah, no, we need sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah yeah the sponsor goal is that but we need subscriptions too so if you know people that uh, might like nintendo news tell them to subscribe uh we, we're having a, a super nes classic giveaway at 40k i don't want you guys to forget about that either so we got a super we got a super nes classic giveaway at 40k um so so yeah we're pretty close to that or we're, we're pretty close we're at 38,000 plus so um uh, Shalag 1100 says, hey guys, I hope I'm not too late. Uh, you're a bit late. You're about an hour. I've already been going for about an hour, 20 minutes with the content, but that's okay. Uh, with my new schedule, now that my daughter's here and she can come in when she needs something or whatever the case is, I don't have to rush to go see her. P Live can be a lot longer, although I am going to end this before five o'clock because I have a video dropping right at five o'clock. So I am going to end this in a little bit over 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, I do have a video dropping right at five o'clock for you guys. And then I'm going to prep for my God of War stream later tonight so uh so yeah uh so you can catch the last half here so we talked about nintendo in terms of their incredible sales pace uh we're gonna go ahead and move on to q a um so if you guys have a question please feel free to drop the question in the chat here i really do love the viewership guys we've been pretty much at 200 or right around 200 viewers this whole stream so i think three o'clock was a good timing to do this i understand for some of the uk dudes european dudes you guys can't make it but Yo, I think uh, you guys really like the timing here just because we're getting we're getting more people in. So I do appreciate that. Um, so let's see here. Um, shout out to Sakon10 hitting us with a $2 donation. Thank you so much, Sakon. I do appreciate your continued uh, support of the channel. And he says, uh, play, uh, is it Zena's? Zena's theme uh, from Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I don't know how to say that name. I'm horrible pronunciation. Um, so all right, we'll definitely do that. So thank you so much for the $2 donation. Appreciate that. Um, Z I N N I. All right, so we got that. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this. I remember this chick. Yeah, she's cool. All right. All right. Uh, players and see, yeah, loving the new schedule, OJ. Yeah, I think it's gonna be. That's the schedule. It's gonna be. I can't guarantee five o'clock videos every single day for you guys. I can't do that, but I can guarantee six a.m. PT. 12 p.m. PT, I can guarantee PE live at 3 o'clock or right around 3, 3, 3.30 or 3. That's what I can guarantee. And anything else that comes, that'll be just bonus videos, guys. So, yeah, I can guarantee that. Um, when Sony's physical report, OJ, I have no idea when Sony's physical report is, but I'll report on it when, when I do find out. Um, is this already, is this already Q&A? Yep, Q&A. Uh, we're an hour 30 minutes in, so we're into the Q&A section. I don't want these streams to go over two hours. Hold up, this music is lit. Yeah, the music is really good. All right, take it easy, Avidin. Have a nice day at work, man. Uh, Sombrero Mario, shout out to Elite Ninja Sombrero Mario. And he says, my dream would be a great GBA Classic Edition. GBA was the Super Nintendo of handhelds, in my opinion. Uh, actually, you're right about that. It, it was the Super Nintendo of handhelds. Um, it had a ton of RPGs. A bunch of good RPGs and it was light convenient just powerful enough to get the job done when it comes to portable games uh, yeah it was definitely very good it was very good it had, it had basically the super Metro I mean, although super I mean it had Metroid Fusion which I do love Metroid Fusion uh, kind of easy but Metroid Fusion, it did have that you know it did have that so um, let's see here Mac 3 okay Mac 3 what is the best Switch game? Well, that's really subjective, but my favorite Switch game is a tie between Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Gotta stay up tonight to do projects. Uh, sad face. Aww. Um, TV says, Player Essence, do you think the Reginator will once again host the Nintendo E3 Spotlight this year, this June? Um, yeah, I don't see why he wouldn't. Yeah, I don't see why he wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, Skip Bayless, we only do um, music requests on donations, so you can use Streamlabs or Super Chat, and I can get you. I can get you a music request. Otherwise, people are just gonna keep on. I'll just get a million requests in the chat here, and that's all people will do. Um, so yeah. Uh, 
is it Jonas uh, Gunst says Wave Race for the Switch? Question mark. Uh, could be. We saw um, Shinya Takahashi talk about that, how he loves Wave Race, so maybe we'll see it at this year's E3. Um, DJ King says, DJ King Gaming says, this summer will be the best summer for Nintendo fans. Yeah, this summer is actually pretty late, guys. We've got Ease 8, Lacrimosa of Dana. We've got, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Mario Tennis Aces. We've got Crash. We've got Captain Toad. We've got Project Octopath. Summer's lit. Summer is super lit. Um, let's see here. Sock Contents says, people say that Breath of the Wall is overrated, but I think that it's just salty that it won so many awards. Uh, Breath of the Wall is definitely not overrated, um, but people are, people are um, entitled to their opinion. Um, Brett C. Lopez with the next question says, Player has some sensitive topic. Uh, do you think pirates are hypocrites that they hacked consoles and are not complaining about why DRM existed? Um, possibly, <laughs> possibly, but you know, I don't know too many pirates and all that, so our matey, <laughs> give you a dad joke to go along with it. Um, uh, yeah, they're only on... The, yeah, Skip Bayless. Yeah. Um, like I said, because if I just took requests from... Every, everyone would just be requesting just songs a million times. And I'd have to be constantly looking to see song requests. So, it's unfortunate. Um, unfortunate that... Uh, but, but, yeah, that's just that's just the way it is. Otherwise, I can just play whatever I want. I mean, that's an option that a lot of streamers do. But if you have a certain song that you want, then yeah. Uh, donation, you can do that. Trust me, if you were a streamer, you'd do the same thing. <laughs> Or you would just play whatever you want. Or you just play whatever you want. Um, Ruin Black Cat says, Player Sense, are you excited for No More Heroes Switch? Uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. I've talked about that multiple times, Ruin Black Cat. Um, hopefully you can check out my videos. Um, I have a reaction video to some of the new gameplay footage from PAX. I also have multiple videos just talking about it myself. So yeah, I'm excited for it. Absolutely. Uh, Fire Blast Gaming says, OJ, chances of Darksiders 1 and 2 coming to the Switch? Um, I put it at under 50%. Um, I don't know if it will. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about that, so that's what I'm. That's the reason why I'm saying under 50%. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, Xeno, Xenoblade 2 is underrated. Um, I think it's rated right where it needs to be rated. Um, it's at 80-something, but it's one of those games to where... It's going to be hard to get a higher rating than it because it's just so complex. There's so many issues or things with the game. It's just not going to get the same type of uh, focus that other games that are far less complex get, like a Mario or something like that. Um, but yeah. Uh, Shoutouts to... Yo, hitting us with that shimmy. Thank you for using Streamlabs. I do appreciate it, Sokar. Uh, Sokar hitting us with the... <laughs> Sokar hitting us with the uh, $2 donation. says, OJ, can you play Donkey Kong 64 Mad Jack Battle? Absolutely, dude. I'll play that for you. But thank you, I do appreciate that. Streamlabs is streamer friendly, so thank you so much, Sokar. And we get to see the we get to see the shimmy, dude. We get to see the shimmy. First shimmy of the day. Uh, Donkey Kong 64. Donkey Kong 64. Mad Jack battle. Mad Jack music. All right. So let's see here. This is a factory boss. Okay. I got stuck at the factory when I was a kid. Um, Black Nerd 45 says, perfect timing for me, OJ. I'm sitting in this slow DMV. Thank you for the stream right now. Absolutely, man. Um, hold up. Let me go back up here. Um, it skips this question. Maybe I'm wrong. I've not played Xenoblade Chronicles 2 yet because the combat looks so boring because the enemies have so much health. Am I wrong? Uh, yes, you're wrong. <laughs> yes, the combat's actually really good. And yeah, they have a lot of health, but you have, you have a lot of tools to beat them too. So, so yeah, the combat's not boring at all. The combat's super fun. Um, uh, Player Essence, do you think Activision and the other AAA companies wish they had the same success as Bethesda on Nintendo Switch? I don't think they. I don't think a lot of the AAA companies care. They have success on other systems. They're they're making plenty of money, so I don't think they care. Um, Zuby Zuby says, Yo OJ, do I get high? No, I don't do drugs, dude. Um, Xenoblade Two is amazing. It is amazing. Yep. <laughs> Xenoblade Xenoblade Chronicles Two is a man's game. It's 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 for everyone, man. Anybody can play Xenoblade. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, chances of Bayonetta three releasing in twenty eighteen? I'd say over. I'd say fifty percent or over, in my opinion. Amiibo fan says, "Hey OJ, do you think there will be another Nintendo World Championship this year?" Um, no, I don't think there's gonna be another Nintendo World Championship this year. I think they're gonna take a they're gonna take a year off. But that's just my opinion. There might be. 
Um, how about Fallout 4 for the Switch? I don't know. I think Fallout 4 might have missed its opportunity um, to be on the Switch, but I could be I could be completely wrong on that. I could be completely wrong. Uh, well, the the way that you talked to Zuby Zuby, you said, "Do you get high?" So that that is a slang for different types of drugs. So <laughs> don't say here and say that it's my fault when you're the one who said it. So I guess I'm not I'm not gonna entertain your questions anymore since you wanna. Obviously, you're just trying to get a rise out of someone or whatever. So I think I'll, I think I'm done answering whatever you have to say, dude. Um, Fire Blast Gaming says, um, "OJ, chances of Nino Kuni One Remaster um, on the Switch or just in general." Um, I don't know, just because I don't think Nino Kuni 2, not the best of sales, so I don't think it's going to be anytime soon that we're going to see that, you know, not anytime soon. Um, have you tried competitive Pokemon before? Um, Pokemon before? Um, yeah, actually I have. I was a really big competitive uh, Pokemon player in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Um, I played a ton of battles. I think I played over like, I probably played over like 500 or 600 battles in that game. Um, I lost and I won. You know, I was I was I was over five hundred, but um, but yeah, I was definitely a competitive battler in Diamond and Pearl. I put, mm, I put well over like two thousand hours into that game, Diamond and Pearl. So, yeah, I put a lot of time into that game, and I was a big, pretty big competitive battler. I had a pretty solid team. Um, I had some good strategies as well. Um, I had some haymaker Pokemon, some annoyers. You know, people that just annoy you, poison you, and all that stuff. So. Some good defensive, some uh, brick houses or whatever they're called. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike and Ix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, OJ, do you think Nintendo will win E3? I'm not a big fan of the whole winning or losing stuff. Um, I think Nintendo will have the most games that are launching this year. And I think Nintendo will have the most hype E3. Now, whether you like those games or whether other people like those games is going to be subjective. But Sony could show off, I don't know, Final Fantasy 16. They could show off Final Fantasy for remake they can show up all these games that are never coming out you know in the next five years or whatever the case is and they'll win they'll win e3 so i'm gonna say that nintendo is going to have the most games that i'm gonna be interested in this year and launching this year so for me they're gonna be i think it's gonna be the system to watch nintendo's gonna be the company to watch it this year's e3 um Bites and Kados remaster, yeah, man, that's something that I like as well. I really like that as well. Amiibo fan says the only thing. Okay, I already read that. Orange juice, Mike and Ike's, and Xenoblade Chronicles too. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, OJ, do you think uh, do you think you can take me in Pokemon Switch? Yeah, I'm gonna body you in Pokemon Switch, Hayden. That's not even gonna be about taking you. It's gonna be a body bag. That's what's gonna happen, dude. Um, David R says, "Wow, it looks like I wasn't the only one with Bites and Kados on my mind." Yeah, I mean, I, I want the game to come back. I want the game to come back as well. Um, Solteris of V says, "Do you think Rockstar could release GTA Tyler or Switch like they did with Chinatown Wars for the DS?" Um, it could be a possibility, but if I, I thought if I think if if Rockstar releases anything, it's just going to be like a port of what they did not a brand new game specifically made for the switch like chinatown wars was specifically made for the ds so i don't think it's going to be like that uh bites and kados it's a um it's a card based rpg um uh, from model of soft uh back when they were uh back when they were yo yo shout outs tell me blaster let's go Yo, first Toby Blaster of the week, and once again, my one, my favorite, one of my favorite people in the world. Seriously, Mama Mercy and her family has just been nothing but just supportive and loving, and really helps out. Even borrows her time to be on the podcast. So, shout out to Mama Mercy hitting us with a fifteen dollar donation, Toby Blaster, and says, "Hey, OJ, can you play Dragon Quest Inquisition main theme?" Absolutely. Everyone give some love. Shout outs to Mama Mercy hitting us with that first Toby Blaster of the day. Do appreciate it. If you got that Toby Blaster emote, go ahead and spam it if you got that Toby Blaster. Hit him with the Toby first, then hit him with the, the Rasengan next. <laughs> Dragon Age. She really wants to make sure that I know about Dragon Age. That Mama Mercy. <laughs> it's not going to spark any. Mama Mercy, you're not getting me with this. I'm not going to start talking about this. I, I will play your music, but I'm definitely not going to start talking about this. <laughs> it is a fine, 
Dragon Age is a fine game. Um, fine game. Um, all right. So Dragon Age Inquisition main menu theme. Here we go. Thank you so much, Mama Mercy. Do appreciate the donation. Um, stop it. Stop it, G5. Stop it. You will not destroy all of us in, in Pokemon Hayden. You need to calm down, my boy, before your internet connection goes out. Um, let's see here. <laughs> stop it. Saka says, uh, Saka and Tess says, do you think Final Fantasy VII Remake will disappoint fans? No. I think when it launches, it'll be really good. When it does launch in the year 2029, it'll, it'll, it'll be pretty good. Um, let's see here. Fire. Um, oh, never mind. He doesn't have a question. He's talking to someone else. Don't forget you. I won't forget you. Um, you want a new Paper Mario game, aka Slayer? Yeah, man. New Paper Mario would be good. I, this this volume is really low on this track, Mama Mercy. Let me see if I can. Can you guys hear it? If you guys can hear the music, let me know. Um, let's see here. I felt like we needed a Toby Blaster. <laughs> Thank you, Mama Mercy. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. <laughs> My internet connection is fine, okay? All caps. <laughs> I said, calm down. Calm down, Hayden, before your internet connection acts up, bruh. Um, barely. Yeah, you can hear it. You can hear it now? Okay, kind of, sort of. The theme is just already low in general. It's, it's a low playing theme in general. So... I don't know. Um, let's see here. Shout out from Guatemala. Shout, yo, shout outs. Shout outs, Omar. Appreciate you watching. Really do. You've been playing Pokemon con competitively since Gen uh, 4. Okay. So it looks like DJ King is going to be a, a formidable opponent. I stopped playing competitive Pokemon last year. Going to get back into it before Pokemon Switch. I'm just going to jump in with Pokemon Switch. That's what I'm going to do. A little bit. Okay. Any chances that EA shows a new Dragon Age game? Yeah, there's actually high chances of that. We do know that there is... Uh, Bioware is working on Dragon Age. They have two teams at Bioware, and one of them is working on Dragon Age. So there is a chance that we do see it at this year's E3. Yep. I'd say 50%. 50% chance. You want a good Mario Party game? I mean, my problem with Mario Party is it's never online. Until they make Mario Party with online, I, I don't really care about the franchise, you know? Until they make it with online. So, I need to see Mario Party go online before they start worrying about Mario Party games. Alright, good, good night, Lady Fantasy Maniac Gaming. Appreciate you coming out to the stream. OJ, how long does it take you to complete an average RPG-based story and post content? I mean, it just depends on the RPG, right? Like, most RPGs that I really like, I put at least 100 hours into. Um, it's not... It's, actually, I don't know if that's the case, Hayden. Um, from what I understand, the good Bioware team is actually working on Dragon Age. And the Mass Effect Andromeda team... So that would be the bad Bioware team is working on Anthem, if I'm not correct. I think I think you have it. It's the other way around. What's up, KAG? How's it going, KAG? He says Skyrim sequel this year. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a Skyrim sequel this year. Maybe we get an announcement of Sky Skyrim, um, but uh, I don't think we're going to see an actual Skyrim announcement this year. Uh, uh, at least it won't launch in this year. I don't think it will launch in this year. So. Um... <laughs> Your older brother needs to finish Xenoblade 2 so you can get back to it. Yeah, I got to share. Um, so, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Any other uh, comments, guys? Or any other questions when it comes to uh, anything? You guys want to know about Fire Emblem or anything. Seems like Zo did Zuby Zuby leave? <laughs> uh, getting a big. I'm getting. Oh, I'm going to unsubscribe from this silly from this silly guy. He was good back then, and now he's getting a big head. You're just a fool. Unsubscribing now. Bye, Felicia. 
I don't know what makes you so, I don't know why you came in here so upset. I don't know why you said I have a big head. I don't have a big head figuratively or actually I don't have a big head. Um, I don't know what your issue is, dude. But yeah, if you want to unsubscribe, go ahead and unsubscribe. I'm putting out content for you, you know, live streaming and you guys can ask me questions. I do this every single day and you come into my chat mad and angry. Uh, you asked me a question. I thought the question was weird. You responded with, oh, well, well, who said anything about drugs? Then I was like, okay, well, now you're wasting my time. I said, okay, I just said, I left it at that. So I didn't even get mad. I didn't time you out. I didn't tell you to leave. I just said, I'm going to be done, you know, because you're not you're not asking me actual questions. That's all I did, dude. That's all I did. Um, if you got mad at that, then go ahead and get mad at that. But that's not my problem, dude. But I'm putting out content for you. If that made you triggered enough to unsubscribe, then obviously you were going to, you know, you were going to unsubscribe at some point anyway. You didn't really like my content. You know, you're making it about yourself. Um, if you like my content, then you'll stay. If you don't like my content, then you'll leave. And obviously, if what I said to you got you triggered enough to unsubscribe, then <laughs> I'm sorry, man, because I didn't, I didn't really say anything to you. Yo, shout out, hit this with that Rasengan Toby Blaster. Let's go. Yo, the bloodline. The bloodline is just jigging in that comment section. Thank you so much, bro, Bacha. My dude, hit us with the 15 again. It says, put your dollars, put your dollars in your pockets. Thank you so much. Mama Mercy, bro, Bacha. Thank you for the big donations, guys. Do appreciate that. Really do appreciate it. Um, OJ, did you do it? Uh, no, no, uh, you said, uh, you said, I'm not wasting your, I'm not wasting your time with my, your questions. Your questions weren't about the gaming stuff, dude. Your questions weren't about the gaming stuff, Zuby Zuby. Uh, I thought you said that you're leaving though, but your questions weren't about gaming. If you said, okay, my bad, let me get you some questions about gaming that I would have, I would have answered it. But your questions and what your comments were, weren't about gaming or weren't about anything that I felt like answering. First, you insinuated about drugs, which that's against the rules in my chat. I was calm about it. I'm still calm now. Um, but if you got gaming questions, okay. But if you're going to sit there and talk about that type of stuff, there's there's a hundred something people. And at the time that you said that, there's 200 people watching, dude. I don't have time to be having jokes with that. I want to get everyone's questions answered. And there's people that are reposting. So when you when you answer, when you make questions like that, it makes me skip you because it makes me think that you're not gonna you're not gonna ask a question that's worthwhile. While you got people sitting there asking questions and want to get their questions answered, my guy. If you were a streamer, you'd be doing the same thing, bro. I mean, like if you streamed and you had two hundred people in your your chat, you're gonna want to look and get the questions from people who are trying to ask real questions, my dude. That's all it's about. Now, if I only had like three people in here then yeah, I can joke around and we can do that because there's only three people in here. But we got, even now, we got 150 people in here, dude. So, you know, I mean, I got to provide the content that people are looking for, not asking about, do I get high? Like, stuff like that. Like, people don't want to hear about that, you know? Like, so, I mean, come on, man. Come on. Um, Let's see here. Uh, Hayden says, uh, the reason Mass Effect uh, Andromeda sucked was because of all the good people um, on the team were sucked out of um, sucked out to work on Anthem. Anthem has been in development for six years. Okay, but that's not what I recall. I thought a lot of the people that worked on the last Mass Effect, the old Mass Effect team, they got put on Dragon Age. That's what I thought. And the Dragon Age team got put on Mass Effect. That's what I thought. So I don't know about that because they still had a sufficient team for Mass Effect Andromeda. Mass Effect Andromeda sucked more. Be that wasn't the reason, that wasn't the whole reason why Mass Effect Andromeda sucked. Actually, what you need to do is you need to read an article from uh, Jason, I forgot what his name is, like Schneer, I can't say his last name, but from Kotaku. I read the real reason why Mass Effect Andromeda sucked and a lot of it was mismanagement. A lot of it was uh, the engine that it was running on, Frostbite. Frostbite wasn't built for RPG games. So they had to really build a lot of custom stuff in there. They, the scope was too big. They wanted to have like like, like like Mass Effect 1 to where you can travel to different planets and go out and explore. And they had to cut out a lot of that stuff in terms of the amount of planets and what you could do. So the trouble development necessarily wasn't because um, all the good people were uh, working on Anthem. There was actually other things that actually led to the development of, of Mass Effect Andromeda not being very good. Um, shout outs to Kyle Louis Mendoza hitting us with that subscription. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Evan in the chat, if you've got those, if you've got that headband email, go ahead and hit that, uh, hit that headband email. <laughs> Yo, shout outs. Let's go. The bloodline coming through. 
Hitting us with another another Toby Blaster. Another. <laughs> That's why I have the bloodline here. They're doing the shimmy, all three of them. What I want to know, uh, it's Giz. Thanks for the $15 donation. And he says, hey, man, forget the haters. Here is, here is from your real fans. So who is who is Itachi in the family? That's what I want to know. Who Who's the Itachi? Who's Sasuke? And uh, who's like Madara? Or like, you know, who, who who's who in the bloodline there? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Shout outs, but thank you so much. I appreciate the Uchiha bloodline, all of you guys. Thank you so much, Bro Bacha, Mama Mercy, and it's Skiz hitting us with that donation. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, okay, ignore the haters. Stop giving them airtime. I'm done. I'm just trying to be look, guys. I'm just trying to be um <laughs> once again, my brother, my brother <laughs> talked to me last the other night. Once again, I'm just trying to be fair with everyone, you know? Um, I'm trying to be fair with everyone. Because I don't want people to think that I'm ignoring them for no reason and get mad. So you know, I'm just answering. I'm just talking back to him normal. If he wants to unsubscribe, he can unsubscribe. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Yo, shout out, Skelly. How's it going, man? How's it going? But, yes, thank you so much, it's Skiz. I'm not really worried about the haters too much, guys. I'm not really worried too much about them. I'm just trying to do the best that I can. I got a job to do. I got content to provide for you guys, and we move on with who wants to be here. Um, if you like my content, you're going to be here. If you don't care about my content, you're probably going to leave. If you get triggered over that, then you probably weren't a, too much of a fan of my content anyways. Because I wasn't even angry or anything. So, uh, <laughs> uh, um, Okay, G5 says, Player Essence, Mama Mercy's Itachi. She killed the Dragon Age uh, opposes, um, uh, opposers in the clan. <laughs> nice, nice. Amigo Fan says, hey, OJ, when do you think the first batch of Nintendo Select games for Switch will be uh, coming out? Uh, probably in a couple years. Probably not anytime soon. Um, um, I I'm here because OJ is a beast of a guy. Yo, thank you. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Excuse me. Um, look, look, Zuby, Zuby. Look, man. Look, just relax, dude. Okay, just relax. Just relax. That'll that'll be the last I address you, dude. I'm done addressing you. So um quake sr um, srk says i think uh they are going to show uh footage of all the game they announced already maybe demos also i doubt demos we haven't gotten that before um i doubt demos but i think we're going to see a lot more um we're going to see a lot more stuff we're going to see a lot more than this. it's not just going to be games quake srk it's not just going to be games that they already announced Nah, that's not happening bro <laughs> there's going to be other stuff as well there's definitely going to be surprises but yeah we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see right um yeah we need a, a bye felicia emote like bye felicia yeah maybe we do maybe we don't i, I don't i don't want it to be a you know uh we already got the toby emote so i think that i think that's enough <laughs> i think that's enough um let's see here um is goku not in smash 5 is he here i didn't see him i guess he's here I, that's what i'm saying like there's a lot of people in the chat um a lot of people in the chat um mama mercy says player since it's skiz is sasuke whoa he's the vengeful spirit <laughs> yo okay okay so then you're madara then <laughs> you're the ruler of them all that makes sense that makes sense you're the strongest mama mercy i got it so it so uh bro so then brobacha is brobacha is um is itachi brobacha is itachi uh, mama mercy is madara and it's kids is Sasuke. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> it's kids says, I'll take that, Mama Mercy. <laughs> oh, nice. Mama Mercy, Mama Mercy says, Player says, No, I'm a Tachi. What? You're a Tachi? Okay, so Brobacha is Madara? Yo, Brobacha got that. Brobacha got that sinister plot then. Okay, I see it. I see it. Okay. <laughs> You, Mama Mercy is Itachi. Okay, got it, got it. <laughs> Toastio says, Player Essence, who do you think is going to be cut from Smash? I don't think anybody right now is cut. I don't think I don't think anybody's cut right now. And I think everyone will make it back into Smash in some way, shape, or form. I think they're actually going to bring back cut characters. So, yeah, nothing right now. But maybe closer to launch, maybe I might have something. But nothing right now. Um, Let's see here. Uh, Starlet Sky says, player since Naruto on the Switch in three days. Is it in three days? I thought it comes out. Doesn't it come out? Doesn't it come out tomorrow? When does Naruto come out on the Switch? Um, all right. So we're going to play some music ending out here, even though nobody asked. For, we're going to play some music because I have one last thing.
that I got to do before we end the live stream. And then, like I said, my video will be live at five o'clock. It will be live at five o'clock. So we'll go till five. Never mind. I'll wait to play the. I'll wait to play the the music. Um. Isn't it bro, uh, bro chat? I thought it's bro, bro ba chat. Bro b r o, b r a. So bra ba cha c h a. That sounds like bro ba cha to me. Bro ba cha. Um. Br- Dude, you literally bro ba cha, not bro ba cha. Like it's D Dub. Now you're getting into semantics slash dialect. <laughs> you literally typed out the same thing that can be that can be pronounced the same way with a T or with a, a CH. Bro ba cha, bro ba cha. I mean like bro ba cha, bro ba. I didn't say bro ba cha. <laughs> you're making it sound like I said bro ba cha. I said bro ba cha. Uh, shout out, yo, shout out to DJ Fresh hitting us with that quick ten dollar donation. Thank you so much, DJ Fresh. You've been a long time viewer of the channel. You've donated a number of times, so thank you, man. I appreciate that. Let me go off and read off his comment here. We also got a little bit of a, a shimmy love here. So shout outs to the Toby Shimmy. And he says, OJ, hello, OJ. Everyone here is right. You're a hardworking man. One man show. One salty hater can't bring down the ninja village. Sorry, um, I haven't been engaged in the chat much. Usually I'm at work or I watch the streams through my TV while playing the Switch. Yo, shout out. First of all, you don't got to apologize. Um, I know you've been around. Whenever you could make it, you can make it. And like I said, man, I'm not trying to really put anybody on blast. I'm trying to provide you guys the best content as possible. Um, that's all I really want is the best content as possible. Um, and I want to get to as many people as possible. So when I see people saying certain things and trying to get a jokes like that, I mean, it's fine if you can joke around. But like we got a lot of people, so I just want to get to the, the questions so we can actually get that content going through. You know, So that's all I was trying to do. Um, just try to make sure I can get to everyone. It's tough for, like I said, one person. I don't have somebody, you know, filtering comments for me or anything like that. It's just, it's just me, okay? It's just me. So just trying to get as much content for you guys and get the best out of these live streams. So thank you so much, DJ Fresh. I do appreciate the $10 donation, man. Really do. Um, and yeah, man, thank you for your continued support of the channel, bro. Uh, bro Bacha. It's Bro Bacha. Dude, I'm going to just say Bro Bacha. I'm just going to say Bro Bacha. So... <laughs> That's what I'm saying, it man. I don't, don't worry about it. You're not there with them. I think they haven't told me that I'm wrong on it. So just just relax. It's okay. It's bro, I'm just gonna say Brobacha. It's okay. Um, Hayden Bennett says, with all the moves uh, learned in high school, OJ will be able to dance around opponents in Smash Five. <laughs> brothers, 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 brothers. Yeah, man. Uh, DJ Fresh says, oh, hello, OJ. Usually always watch your live streams. Even when I'm at work, I can't make it. Don't. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Okay, it's all good, dude. DJ Fresh, it's all good, DJ. Uh, Moderize my four-year-old. Oh, snap. <laughs> I'm not saying bro bacha. I'm not. It's bro bacha. Bro bacha. Bro bacha. It's just dialect. It's just the way that you're hearing it through there. It's all good, bro. Um... <laughs> okay, player essence, you're saying it fine. All right, there we go. That ends it, right? The man himself, Bravacha, Bravacha. <laughs> the man himself says I'm saying it fine. All right. So Hayden says, player essence, uh, we could get Smash Brothers demo uh, seen as the game will be playable at E3. Um, yeah, I think they're going to have a. Well, I don't know if we're going to get the demo um, because they didn't do the demo for the Wii U. So I wouldn't be content on that. Like saying, oh, there's definitely going to be a demo. I wouldn't be content on that. Don't get your hopes up. Do not get your hopes up for that. You have to wait and see. Um, my favorite emo is Toby. Your favorite emo is Toby. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, there was a 3DS demo. You're right about that. There was a 3DS demo. There was a 3DS demo, um, but I don't, I don't know. I just don't feel like there's going to be a. I just don't feel like there's going to be a demo. I think there was a 3DS demo because pe- because they really wanted to show people that the 3DS version was worth buying because everyone was like, okay, well the Wii version is going to be the big attraction. So that's the reason why I thought that there was, that there was a 3DS demo to to prove to people that the Smash Brothers can be played on the 3DS, right? Like on the screens and everything. Um, I think with the Switch, you don't got to prove to people anything with the you know with with the Switch. So that's the reason why I thought there was a 3DS demo, you know.
I mean, the the 3DS demo for Smash Brothers it was cool, but I played that de- I played that demo so many. It was what was it? Mega Man versus who's the other character you could pick? Mega Man and Mario, right? <laughs> there was two characters: Mega Man, Mario, and Battlefield. That was it. That's all you could pick was Mega Man, Mario, and Battlefield. I played that demo so many times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um. Uh, how come South Park has zero presence on the Switch? It's not on the eShop, not on the news, not in the search. Um, I don't know about that. I think there already is uh, South Park. I lo- I've looked at the Switch. I see the the listings for it. So maybe you're not checking correctly. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out tomorrow. And Sean Long they uh, they sent out review copies to re- to uh, reviewers. So Sean Long is reviewing it. So uh, there will be a presence. You'll see it there. Relax. It's obviously coming. Um. DJ Fresh eighty two says OJ um, um, OJ man having the switch around um, having the switch um, ever since around launch I haven't been um, giving the three DS much love. Well, yeah, there's no I mean there's not much reason to right like DJ Fresh just because the switch is so much better HD screen it's got a lot of games coming out for it so yeah. Um, first of all, okay, I'm not reading that first part, NX Revolution. I refuse to read that first part. Shout out to NX Revolution hitting us with a doll donation. It says, uh, so hyped for the Naruto trilogy right now. Only a couple of days left. Um, E3 prediction, some sort of Square Enix game that is not announced for the Switch right now. Okay, well, we'll see. I have a video coming out, so you guys will be able to see that video. I'm going to go ahead and put some counterattack to finish out the live stream, guys. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, I agree. Oh, I think that might be too loud. All right, so yeah, absolutely, NX Revolution. Thank you for the doll donation. I do appreciate the doll donation, um, and you don't have to uh, you don't have to apologize or make excuses. I do appreciate the doll donation. Thank you so much, NX Revolution. Um, um, let's see here. Can't wait to play Naruto handheld mode. Yeah, man, it's gonna be fun. Um, it's on the news. Well, yeah, I mean, I've, I've everyone's reported on on that. I think he's just talking about like the eShop, like on the actual eShop. So yeah. Yo, what's good, OJ? Can't wait for Smash to uh, Smash to drop. Yeah, man, Ray Cook. I'm looking forward to it as well. Looking forward to it. The louder, the better. <laughs> I love this theme, OJ. Yeah, this theme is awesome. We're gonna finish out with this theme, and then and then I'm gonna lead you guys straight to my new video. So you guys can raid my video. Yeah, South Park is coming out tomorrow, I think. So yeah, it'll be there, dude. Don't worry. YouTube's being a Toby right now, and I got an error message when I tried to go to my videos. What theme is this? James Clarkson. How dare you not know what theme this is? This is Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Counter Attack. We got a repost from DJ King. It says Player says, I just hope Fire Emblem on Switch has a dungeon uh dungeon dungeon in it like uh, Fire Emblem Echo, Shadows of Valentia. I enjoyed that part of it. In fact, I hope Fire Emblem Switch takes the best of the entire franchise. I mean, it might have dungeons. I think there might be some extra areas that you can explore. The dungeon stuff was cool, but you could just tell that like the 3DS was like cooking. Man, the 3DS was cooking in those dungeon parts. I mean, like the game, the engine, all that is just really not meant for open world, like or open area exploration. Because man, that game looks rough in some of the, some of the parts, which is not a big deal. Obviously, the game is still really good. But yeah, I think dungeons would be cool. I think it would be cool, just like not like. I don't want like a bunch of puzzles and stuff in there, but yeah, like some areas that you can go into and fight enemies and stuff like that. That'd be cool. Mm. Mm. Oops, a 30 minute time loop? Uh, no, no 30 minute time loop. No 30 minute time loop. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Francis B? How's it going, man? Uh, I am so tired. Yeah, taking kids, taking care of kids all day. That 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 will do it. That will do it to you, uh, Mama Mercy. I will definitely do it to you. Uh, Zyphos wants Xenoblade Chronicles X on the, on the Switch as a port uh, or sequel. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, you're hooked on the theme, Keenan Parker? Yeah, man. Theme's good, dude. Theme's really good. It's super good. How many, how much, how many more minutes do we have left? Uh, we just got about one more minute. Okay, so that'll lead right into my video. Uh, 
Uh, James Clark says, Sparks has been scared of Pokemon is being shown. I feel like uh, so many people overhype themselves. I... Pokemon's Pokemon, man. People are going to like it. Mr. Nichols says, Polaris is second repost. Uh, could there be a test smash or something like that to test out the online before the launch? I mean, there could be. That's possible. They did they, they did that with Splatoon. They did that with, uh, with ARMS. So, yeah, there could be. Absolutely. You just saw my old uh, my old video my old channel yeah it has a bayonetta avatar yeah it does oh mama mercy your kid's not feeling well oh i, I hope you're i hope you're uh i hope your kid's feeling better hope your kid's feeling better all right guys so that was that we ended up with the with the hype music here so a couple of announcements uh, before we before we skid at so um, I do have a new video that is up on the channel right now at this point so I'm going to copy and paste that in the um, in the chat here guys okay so you guys can check out that video it just dropped we're talking about Naruto on the Nintendo switch so let me go ahead and pull up this so we're talking about some Naruto on the Nintendo switch so check out the video I'm gonna drop it here um, Thank you guys uh, for watching. I do appreciate that. We got 182 likes. Let's go. If you haven't hit that like button, hit that like button because it does help even afterwards get more people in. So thank you guys so much. If we can get to 200, that would be dope. So if like what? Like 17 people who haven't hit the like button, hit that like button. Let's get to 200. Um, and yeah, good stuff. So thank you guys so much. I do appreciate all the support. We'll be back with PE Live uh, tomorrow. And if you're interested in watching God of War, I'll have God of War going up probably like around six o'clock. So in about an hour and an hour, an hour or so, give me a little bit of time to get it ready. Get the stream ready for you guys with my PS4 Pro. And we'll have some God of War tonight if you want to come relax for a nice chill stream. And I'll watch some God of War for a couple of hours. So yeah, I'll probably play for about an hour or two. Uh, so look forward to that. So thank you guys so much. Do appreciate it. I'm going to I'm gonna put that uh, link one more time for the video. And uh, we will catch you guys. Hold, let me make sure it actually goes to the video. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. All right, make sure you guys check out the video right then and there, and uh, we will see you guys for the next one. Peace out.